Hello and welcome to Garbag Games, Mage the Ascension Game, Masters and Monsters. Hello and welcome back to episode 11 of Masters and Monsters, the Garbag Games, Mage the Ascension Game. Uh, I'm Pete and in a moment we'll go round and everyone will say who they are and who they're playing or what they're doing here. Uh, but before we do, don't forget to go and check out our Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We're sharing lots of things on there. We've also recently repaired some of the the uh, webpage. Ooh, so the webpage working again. Garbladgames.co.uk. You can go there and check out some stuff. Um, and can, things. And things. Stuff and things. Um, we also have our Discord, uh, which we have a link on the Facebook page for and a link below. Thank you, Roger. Uh, and we're having lots of conversations on there about role-playing, wargaming, Star Wars, KOTOR, Stuff and other, other things. Um, we also have our Patreon. We're now up to 34 patrons. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Uh, <laughs> approaching our goal of 50 patrons, where we will start to do two videos a week. We'll see how we figure that Ooh. one out. Um, but thank you, everyone who supports us. Everyone who does makes it a little bit better for everybody else. From all the kit and equipment to the books for our games, extras and add-ons and all that kind of stuff that make all the games we play a little bit better. We also have a red bubble where we have lots of cool cups and throw pillows and things. We've got flint and steel logo mugs. Uh, we've got a character sheet pad. Oh, that's that's an old one. That's not old. That's all right. And not if the green someone one. pass me the, uh, the green one. Oh, Sam, yes. if you just hold that green up. One. <laughs> That's not on there. A bit closer to the <laughs> That's not on there. All right. we, we, oh, wait. I'll taunt you with a cup of contact. <laughs> so we also have our uh, dungeon-themed 5th edition character sheet notepads. So that is a character awesome. sheet on the front page, a thicker card, and then a notepad, lined notepad, or a graph notepad. Uh, so you can keep all of your stuff for your character in the book itself. So it's your character all in one place, which is quite cool. Um, so that's pretty cool as well. We've got our big subscriber giveaway, which we've got a link for below. The more people who subscribe to the channel, the bigger the prize. Please go check that out. At time of filming, we've got 921 subscribers. Once we get to 925, the prizes start to get unlocked. So you can win over a hundred dollars worth of gear, uh, all role-playing stuff. Please go and check it below. There's a link for you there. Um, what else have we got to talk about? Um, Comic Con. We're Comic -Con. going to St Albans Comic Con in 2019, 14th of July. Garbag Games will be there in the gaming zone, running role-playing tables, war gaming, and a bit of board games. Probably more board games and war games. Probably. Uh, we're just figuring out some of the details. And we'll start sharing some of that information. So any of our UK fans, please come down to St Albans at the Auburn Arena, 14th of July. Come and meet us. Uh, there'll be some spaces for role-playing. I think Sam's going to try and yep. run a game. I'll run something. I'll be there I running want. a big D&D drop-in game, probably. Um, so that should be a lot of fun. Any of our international viewers, if you want to make a special trip over and come and see us, then that'd be amazing. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that's everything. I've got everything on my bit of paper there. And I'm trying to be slightly more organised these days. Um, but yes, without further ado, we shall begin with Sam. Right, I'm Sam and I'm the storyteller. I'm Colin and I am playing Captain Rufus William Foxmere. I'm Adam and I'm playing uh, Abe Cohen, a member of the Society of Ether. I'm Roger, I'm playing Private Ron McDougall, the Canadian Verbena. I'm Pete and I'm playing Odin. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm playing Jeremy Cranthorn. Uh, he may or may not have been Odin. <laughs> he's an accountant in the Order of Hermes. He's also a mage in the Order of Hermes, but he's an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> but the accountancy is much more important. Oh, definitely. <laughs> well, the Order of Hermes probably needed his accountant. Exactly. To be fair. They've got loads um, of mages, few accountants. <laughs> <laughs> Bureaucrat number 63. <laughs> 64. Oh, been promoted. <laughs> Right, so last week our characters left the safety well-ish of wartime London for um, the Norwegian occupied Norway yeah. um, in an area Rufus had previously known a group of mages who were part of the resistance against the Nazi occupiers. Um, you met up with um, a new member of their group you'd not met previously, um, a celestial chorister called Magdalena. Um, uh, from the Knights of St. Gabriel, who is a very female, uh, aggressive, <laughs> knightly order in um, the 
Celestial Chorus and a little bit bonkers. Yeah, she's not. <laughs> um, then you uh, went back to the safety of the sort of grove and node yep. that the mages used to discover that one of the um, older mages that you knew well um, was uh, extremely unwell following a fight and a paradox backlash from when she killed the Nefandi's apprentice. Yes. However, the group are now very worried as they believe that the Nefandi is on his way to take his apprentice's place. Yeah. yeah. And or possibly vengeance. And or possibly vengeance. Probably. All actually. of the above. All of the above. Yeah. Um, and she has explained that the um, the item mm. that is hidden under there is a, um, an, a giant amber slab that allowed mm. different mages of different paradigms and beliefs to um, gel their magic into one sort of harmonious mm. whole. And obviously everyone's absolutely terrified at the thought of Nefandi getting hold of that because one of the few good things about Nefandi is they struggle to work together. If they've got this, that goes out <coughs> the window and potentially everything explodes. And they're also potentially um, uh, researching nuclear technology, which yeah. is also pretty bad as well. Yeah. I'm a bit fixated on that. Yes. Jeremy is a bit fixated on it. Um, yeah. However, you have found an old bathosphere, because how bad could that possibly be? Hey! Uh, we're going to invade a German <laughs> U boat base. U boat base, <laughs> with, <laughs> base with a bathosphere. With a brass Victorian <laughs> bathosphere. Victorian brass bathosphere. <laughs> it's going to be good. It's be nice knowing you, chaps. Go wrong. <laughs> Uh, it's all right. We've already established I could probably swim it. <laughs> That's we have true. indeed established that Ron no, could no one probably else could. swim it. Yeah. No I one could probably pull one of you with me. Could. No, no one no, other than Ron. Ron could. Yes. <laughs> Ron has a combination of forces magic and, and, actual, a bit, and actual physical capability. And some life as well. He's competent. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> and some life. Yeah. 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 Um, whereas the rest of you would not survive the swim through the... F- Even though it is summer, this is literally where a glacier comes to melt. It is cold down there yeah. um, so I mean he's from Canada so he doesn't care um, but the rest of you are from like normal places it's practically I assume, summer like London and Ipswich and things like that and it's, mm-hmm. you're not used Southwark to, yeah you're not used to swimming through freezing water so um we have pretty much decided that the bathosphere is a good plan. The rest of the characters have been getting some dinner and potentially a small amount of sleep, mm-hmm. while Abe has been attempting to repair the bathosphere. I think with a bit of help from Jeremy in places and yes, well, possibly Rufus as well. Yeah, you've, yeah. Got, you've got quite a bit a little of bit of noise. Got... <laughs> no. There's some pret- there's some chocolate pretzels. Yeah, chocolate okay. pretzels. Chocolate, chocolate pretzels. pretzels are an abomination and should not be eaten. They're awesome. But Perishly, they're, they're amazing. especially good with wine from a mug. No, they're awful. <laughs> or beer. No. Mm. no. No, the beer's nowhere near as good because it's not in a Garbler Games mug. Do you want it to be You're damn right there, Adam. You're damn right there. I I said he could have a mug, and he's like, oh, that's a bit wasteful. It's a mug. It's a Garbler Games mug. I will use a mug to make Pete wash it up. (laughs) And the beer tastes nice because they do that. (laughs) They do make... (coughs) Pardon me, the beverages taste better. Anyway. Um, Yes, no, chocolate pretzels. Um... Right, so the bathosphere, um, Abe has completed the repairs on the bathosphere and it's been decided you're all going back to the hut in the grove rather than the village because A, the village is probably being watched, it's almost definitely got some Germans in it, it does have most nights, um, and also if the Nefandi should get here sooner than you think, you currently think he'll turn up sort of late afternoon on the next day, yep. should he get here earlier than you'll start, which is certainly possibly as a master, um, He'll probably go to the village first. Well, no, he'll try and come after you guys first. And if you're in the village, you're putting them in danger. Um, so Abe and um, Rufus, after a while working with the bathosphere, are returning to the grove to report to the rest of the mages as to what they have achieved and make a plan for when you're going down there. It's probably... Because you actually started, to be honest, it's probably... It, you know, it's the evening, but mm-hmm. it is it is early evening by the time you retire back mm. to the thing. So it's. Um, we were looking at going as it starts to get gloomy. Yeah. Mm. While they so, were doing that, I would be studying the ba- the map of the base after yes, you're... having our heartwarming conversation <clears throat> with. Um, you did indeed have a heartwarming Jeremy. conversation yeah, about how Saturn. likely you were to all die horribly. Yeah, we looked Jeremy. out the the sun sort of going down a bit, and we were like, "Yeah, this might be the last time oh. we ever." And we had a toast. Yes, yes we did. 
Um, and now you are studying the maps of the base, which um, Uli, the older mage's son, had managed to buy off one of the young men from the base. It doesn't really want to be there. You've also been told a little bit about the personnel. There are some SS in the base who are a major problem. Mm -hmm. However, certainly the ground floor staff, as it were, rather than the people deep in the, deeper into the facility, are mostly 15, 16, 17 Drafties. year olds yeah, that have been mm -hmm. conscripted and will probably run away if given the opportunity to do so. Um... Can I practice a bit with my gun? You can indeed practice a bit with your gun. Is it a rifle? It's a pistol. Um, I can give you some pointers. Mm, <laughs> what, a tiny bayonet? Milena. <laughs> That's the trigger. <laughs> Milena um, has set up herself a little set of shooting targets. That oh, cool. She's measured the yardage and things for. Okay. So if you wanted to come and do that, she will show you where they are. I will. Damn. I'll just help you adjust your stance and that Damn. kind of thing. Damn. Damn. <laughs> he missed from a foot away. Right. Don't right. say a foot. <laughs> what? Thankfully, you're seen studying plans, so you can't possibly yeah. knock him. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> the cold steel. So, um, it is probably about Bayonet nine. Me. It's probably <laughs> about nine-ish by the time you two return. But it really is not going to get dark till half ten. Possibly not even that because you're in Norway near 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 shortest day. Yeah. So you've probably still got a good hour and a half of sort of lightish at this point. Mm -hmm. What's the cloud cover like? Um. Is it cloudy or is it clear? It's sort of that sort of fluffy clouds sort of set up. So, so relatively mostly light clear. Cloud. Yeah, re mostly clear. As it's starting to get could darker, the, it, it's that. building up a bit. You could. Mm. Try and make it cloudier. You could. The problem with whether it, I say, it depends. Small changes are normally pretty doable. Yeah, I'm basically Large just trying to make it become nightmarish. But you're just trying. I'm trying to make, I'm trying it, to make it a, a bit cloudier. Yeah. Okay. I'm, so I'm not trying to make it go from clear to cloudy. I'm just trying to. Or like yeah, people thicken, try to make it rain and the crazy cloud, yeah. like three percent cloudy increase because <laughs> it'll make it a bit darker and make and the also, rest of what's going to happen a bit more. Yeah, yeah. You're doing it within Useful. the little area that these majors have set out, um, and though your paradigm is still a bit of a work in progress because you're a relatively young mage, you're still you're more relatively. towards the you're more <laughs> towards the, you're more towards the sort of nature and, and well, aligning of natural yeah. systems and that kind of thing. So yes, if you were trying to make it three percent more cloudy, that'd probably be harder at the moment actually. Um, a bit no, no, not an exact, yeah. yeah no, that's I'm this just trying a, to make it a this bit is a thicker. place of non exact, which is good for you. So have a go at making it Jeremy, slightly Jeremy less bad. Would be like, um, I'm going to make it three percent more cloudy. And it wouldn't work. Yeah. <laughs> um, the so the difficulty with this this will Whoa. be uh, it's probably going to be six because this is quite and two marvelous. Right. So you yes. However, your character is still working his head around how he thinks this works. So you probably tried a couple of different ways. Um, you know, arranging stones and things. Yeah, and lo yeah, and basically just kind of feeling it around him because you know it's sort of thing like a hunter stepping out into the wood and just kind of taking in everything. That's kind yeah. of more how he is. And also this He feels it's kind of a natural thing. Yeah. Naked. No. Okay. <laughs> this area also has been Damn used boy. by sort of um not with nature worshipping. Holding but, but his car symbol. Yeah. Nature respecting mages for quite a long time. So there are things like small lodestones that have been put in certain places that they'll probably let you rearrange. And yeah, you can start to have a think how all this is going to come together. So by the time you guys get back about nine ish, it's the, getting a bit what, cloudy. What's been fluffy clouds all day is spreading to that sort of thin but low cloud cover, which mm -hmm. is pretty solid actually. Right. Okay. And you return to the thing. There is food being done. Um Again, as you would know from this, this part of the world struggles with livestock and things anyway. Though you are right in the centre of summer, but at the moment, the Germans are taking basically the best of the produce for themselves anyway. Yeah. Um, so what's on is a giant stew. There is some meat in there. Somewhere. Somewhere. A lot of it's vegetables, root vegetables and that kind of thing. But these guys are pretty good cooks and they're pretty good vegetable growers as well. So hey, it's pretty edible. Hot meal in the field. Take exactly. it. Mm -hmm. Fish. Oh, actually, they're probably fish, actually, as well, yeah, because yeah, they do catch quite a lot down there. Cool. Right, so you, these guys turn like up. going to go out on was both, fishing pickled both, herring. Both smelling a little bit of, like, that stuff you used to seal rubber, I would yeah. possibly think at this point. <laughs> yeah. Sort of thick glue, boat glue, yeah. Mm. It's because they're any horse. 
Um, <laughs> and no, I've got a horse. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and the bathysphere has been loaded onto Uli's son's mate's fishing boat, basically. Well, already. That's well, it's quite a large probably. one, yeah. yeah. They brought it round to the boat shed, so you can just do it in there, basically. Fair enough. Right, and you guys come back. <clears throat> okay, well, food. Food. Oh, that looks nice. So yeah, right, yeah. some um, bowls are found for you, and some food is passed over. Yeah, yeah. it I'll looks like it's it as well, going to be pretty seaworthy. Um, <laughs> so the guy I've actually heard of him, uh, Kuttensberg, I think. Uh, it was a, a, a number of members of Society of Ether. He was a bit uh, not isolationist, but he did go off by himself. He was a bit alone and didn't have like a, a group. Um, he um, was a huge fan of, uh, you know, really loved the, the under the, this underwater creatures and especially the ones in various other extra dimensional ones apparently he made friends with a bunch of them and I fell in love with one of them and he hasn't been seen since a mermaid <laughs> or an octopus <laughs> he didn't detail uh, he just <laughs> apparently left a sort of you know, small missive saying you may not see me for some time I'm off with found fishes. His, yeah my true <laughs> partner okay. or whatever Fair enough. A long time ago, the really said. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It was quite a few years ago. Yeah, yeah before but, I was born. I think a narwhal. It's... But you know, I like to. But yeah, I mean, see you, Lord. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Who knows? My professor was, you know, similar. <laughs> she, was, she liked exploring, so you know, I did come across a few of his papers and things. So anyway. So he won't miss it, is what I'm saying. He's probably off somewhere else. He's probably... Because if you spend too much time extra-dimensionally, you can end up a bit extra-dimensionally yourself, so... And not be able to come back. Um, I've heard. <clears throat> uh, so that might be how he's gone. He's not been Politely seen, like I say. nods. <laughs> like 20 years, 30 years or something, I think. Quite a while. Yeah, he, yeah he's not been seen since. Well, hopefully he won't... Yeah. Whoever, whoever he is, hopefully he won't object to us using his bathysphere to try and avert the end of the world. This wasn't his main boat. This was sort of a, a backup stroke sort of experiment. It was his prototype. He used to test stuff out with it, you know. Okay. Uh, he, had, he had a main <clears throat> actual sort of... A bigger of, one. Much bigger, apparently. But it'll get us... He never the gave the uh, full specs in, in the papers and stuff. He was a bit quiet about it, but it was... If you're no, you can understand Vern, why. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, there were some theories that he got some of the ideas from him. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Not quite the crew, though. Um, not unless you think of the extra major entities as a crew. But yeah, a much bigger boat. But this is a sort of small weekend boat. Um, <laughs> anyway, it's all fixed up. Uh, it, it does have a few engines. It doesn't move very quickly, I don't think. I'm no expert on that kind of thing. But it, will, it should be able to float and move up and down. <laughs> it should sink. Um, they look quite dependable. It's got its own little power source. Uh, so yeah it should be able to be piloted and, and driven around underneath the water like I say I don't think we'll outrun any U-boats on it but um, that's, yeah that's not really a... it's got a lot of as you'd expect good information good uh, you know, things on it radar kind of equivalent I guess you'd call it but also okay. extra dimensional type things on those sort of lines um, it's got some kind of camouflage stuff but it doesn't work until you put it in the water so I'm not quite sure what that'll do when we turn it on um, camouflage Something, a limited amount. I'm not quite sure what it'll do because it's not really my area of expertise. But they're still working and I've sort of tuned... Like it grows kelp over it when we go in the water or something. Oh, it looks like a big fish. Maybe. <laughs> There's signs that... Um, there was a few marks, like big sucker marks, like it had been tangled with some sort of big thing in the past. Um, so it didn't, apparently they don't work that well. Um well, I'd say it won't be there when we Maybe get. that's why you put the camouflage on. <laughs> it could have been part of his courtship with his new love, though, couldn't it? So It can jump to other dimensions, but I think it might wreck it if we try. But that's, We don't that's really an... need to do that, do we? Unless we're in serious that's trouble. A, that's an escape method it might be able to do, but I don't. again, I don't know if it would be able to come back in a hurry. I think it would, yeah. <laughs> what if we were I'm in another not dimension lost, when though. a bomb went off? Yeah, that's the thing I'm thinking of. We can't yeah. get away in time. If the, the, there's Step a high up. destruction level, as it were, at the base, then, and we can't, it doesn't move very quickly, but we could probably jump to another dimension, but I don't know. It, those bits look a bit on the fritz, as it were. I'm not sure how well that would protect us. Uh, again, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> bit of a gamble. How how much much I, I assume it would depend yeah. on how far that dimension well, is from As long as it gets us mm. into the base and what forces transfer between them. It completely mm -hmm. depends as well. If, if the only. If whatever the base self destructs in is a mundane prototype, we should be fine. Yeah. If it's got an extra dimensional component, we should be screwed. But if we're going to be screwed either way, we may as well try it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, um, <laughs> I'm not suggesting that given the choice, I wouldn't. <laughs> press the button but yeah. <laughs> just yeah. that maybe I'd rather not have to have that be my only choice mm -hmm. 
Controls aren't that complicated, and like I say, it's got a good amount of power itself. I think it might be connected to some of that extra dimensional power source. I can't quite work out where it goes. I'm not quite sure. Oh. Or it might be a complicated forces effect. I'm not quite clever enough to, to tangle out. Yeah, ideally you needed about three weeks with this one, and you've got about <laughs> five and a half hours, basically. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, right. well, well, I've got used to the sights on my Luger. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Milena says that several trees can testify. Yeah, try not to fire inside. I think there might be quite a lot of ricocheting going. <laughs> I will only shoot if I need to. Right. Anyway, get down to Should food we before we head off. Eat yeah. and go? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> well, it's not going to be dark for a little while. But... It's going to be dark for a little while, but it's going to take us a little while to get down there and. In the general area, you know, and we want to test it out as well. In the how in long the does fjord. it take to like cool mist down? Seeing as we've now got low cloud to work with, and the sea to bring moisture up from. Probably best bet is see what it's like when you get a bit nearer the shore. And it gets a little bit colder because the temperature is going to start dropping pretty swiftly at this point, mm. which might make it quite a bit easier. As soon as the sun is sort of past the apex, is it up past the horizon? Is it where it's going to get colder? Mm. Um, right, so you are giving them some food. Um, Milena um, looks around and says, I'm going to come with you. Um, Ulian, do you know aren't well enough? I don't think they should. Right, yeah. Um, they're going to keep watch up here. And we set up a few communication things, so if we think he's getting any nearer, they can give us updates. Um, and they can. They can. we're going to lay in some plans to try and waylay him on the road a little if we can as well. Right. I'm not sure how well communications will work in the sphere. No, but we'll have to try. Because it's got a bunch of shielding stuff. <laughs> but hopefully we won't. some stuff. Hopefully we will get out of it and into the base at some point. So uh-huh. let's, let's... Why don't we check? Way. If you go inside, I can see if it's shielded against... Yeah, well, it's down the bay now. So yeah, sure, yeah. <coughs> not now. Not now. Let me know, so I'm going to go with you and they're going to try and lay them up here. I think that's the best plan. Okay. Does anyone has any particular objections? Uh, other than the usual... People getting themselves killed because. I was going to say, I, don't know, I assume you know it's quite dangerous to yeah, that we're doing the thing. Good, good. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Very well. Yes, when Let's see. are in trouble, my order's never been found wanting, and we're not about to start. And you're not related to any gods, eh? No. <laughs> no. For sure. Safe, fairly safely sure I'm not related to any gods yet. I said that like two days ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, no, I don't. I don't think I am. I'm reasonably confident. Right. So you have some slightly suspect uh, Norwegian what they've got to do, but it's actually very good. Um, and start to make your way down to the harbour. Mm-hmm. Um, this village basically does actually make its living by fishing. So there's quite a few of these sort of well, mid-century sort of fishing boats. So the crew is normally sort of between about two and about six guys that go out. Mm-hmm. Um, and because the um, because this area in is really very deep, um, they are more normally using like big drag nets. Obviously not big by modern standards, but big by 40s standards, mm-hmm. drag nets to bring up stuff that's mostly quite far down. They catch a lot of shellfish um, and they also catch things like cod and stuff that live in the bottom of cool water um, sort of currents as well, um, places and that kind of thing. Um, so they've got quite heavy lifting arms on them because they're used to having to drag things up from really quite far down. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's been a little bit of tugging of ropes and like checking the weights on hooks and things. Mm. But when you get down there, um, as I say, the, the, the friend of the family that's been drafted in to help you has loaded the bathosphere up onto his boat. It's still in the, um, the, the boathouse at the moment. And he's pretty confident he can get it into the water with no damage to him or the boat or the bathosphere. Mm-hmm. As long as, yeah, the boat doesn't tip over. No, 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 he thinks, he thinks it's fine. I mean, yeah, this stuff is, yeah, for pulling up, you know, tons and tons of crab net and all that kind of stuff, so. I do want to know if got it down there, um, out there himself. Um, let's say, if you ask one of the locals, team, they will say... Magic? Use the forces. I was if, you, if, if that was the traditional way he was going to do it, he would have it built in because he's built more or less everything else into it. They said he had his own natural little house a couple of miles up the coastline. Yeah. Um, and a little launch in it or something. He used to launch stuff from up in there. Uh, yeah. um, but makes sense. Since he disappeared, the whole thing basically just f- fell into really, really extensive ruins really, really quickly and weirdly. <laughs> Funny um, that. 
and the bathysphere was down here because him and some other guys were working on it here. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No one's ever bothered to take it back up to rock with the rest of his stuff because it didn't really seem worth it. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. I'm going to go find somewhere secluded now down by the water. Right, okay. And have a go at bringing some mist down. Okay. It won't work if you don't even at least take your shirt off. <laughs> and you've got to go, Mist, come to me! Uh, what's the difficulty? The difficulty <laughs> six for this one again. Yeah, uh, just one. Right, that's still enough to strengthen uh, what was kind of happening anyway. You've got cold sea meeting warm air meeting low laying cloud now. So, yeah, yeah it looks... Yeah, reasonably convincingly misty as the rest of you. Yeah, and I will Eerie. walk back to the others. Also, I think you were probably here we more shall. towards autumn and winters before, weren't you? So your mind, look, so it's calm and nice out there. You've seen it when it's not calm and nice out there. So, <laughs> um, as yeah. all. Yeah, but well, it, I, I haven't also been on the water while it's... Yes. Because <laughs> I have some respect for, you know, nature. Yes. <laughs> It's stronger than I am. <laughs> Whereas the um, yes, at the moment it looks like a milk. See, that's where we've got Eric. Great. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the moment it looks like a milk pond down there. It looks pretty. Kind of thinking. <laughs> right. So, what are you gonna do? We get on the boat. Yeah. Get in the boat. Mm-hmm. Get yeah. in the boat. Get in the atmosphere. Get yeah. ready to go. Get it's ready. A weird brass. It's not. A- Put the safety Strictly speaking, on my gun. a sphere. It's sort of more a sort of balloon uh, shape with a flat bottom, basically. Yeah, don't worry. Guns are in bags, things are in things. Those people that haven't really been in here, these guys have done a really good job. It's cleaned up, all the rubber's been all renewed, everything's been redone. Dead fish have been taken out. Dead fish have been removed. <laughs> and not the, dead, smell. the dead, I don't know what that is, has also been taken out yep. for nice. possible later examination as to what that actually is, but it's out. Um... <laughs> It was kind of desiccated. It got a bit dry and weird. It looked a bit like seaweed, and then when they moved it, it kind of wasn't. Um, Lovely. <laughs> dry seaweed. Not that's really any better. But, um, would, yes. Would have the, the shark to the sort of yay big shark oh, yes. too. I don't know what you did with that. <laughs> I think I think she got it. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm laying Second it. in the gun. <laughs> She's got a shark tooth that's like yay big. <laughs> shark bayonet. <laughs> I love it. I love everything about it. Yeah. Shark, I thought it was neat. I was just going to yeah, keep it. Yeah, it's great. Wouldn't want to meet, meet the, the shark, shark came out of, and neither would I. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully they're in the Umbra, not here. Yeah, hopefully. Well, I was hoping they were dead, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to clamber in. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a little laddery mm. bit like affixed to it, and you drop in for a gap at the top. Right. Okay. Right. Just in case, these are the good touch. We'll explain the controls as I'm warming it up. <laughs> I will pay attention. I will pay attention. There are I will have drive There one. are portholes. <laughs> oh, wicked. There are some little portholes. I will I'm pay attention looking out of a porthole. <laughs> there are some um, <clears throat> fairly rudimentary controls for forward, mm-hmm. back, up, down. Okay. There's some slightly more complex W-A-S-D. ones for camouflage, deployment, for... Mm-hmm. Um, there's a whole, like, photography setup in here that can sort Ooh. of get to pull yeah, you You can probably slow. ignore that. <laughs> um... There's, um, but if you want to take photos of various dimensions that are connected with this current space then you, <laughs> in time, then you probably could. <laughs> um, I've not really had time to work out exactly which one's which. <laughs> yeah, uh, and yes, and it's probably all been real sort of organised slightly along age basis as well as to what things mm-hmm. do what. Right. <clears throat> okay. So the boat drifts out of the boathouse. Um, the... Um, uh, Captain is a relatively young guy called Lanark, mm-hmm. um, who is a local. He doesn't speak any English at all, but you do, so that's all right. Um, you speak well, 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 Norwegian. Norwegian. Yeah, that's what I meant. You, you speak both Sorry, Norwegian and English. Sorry, we can speak the lingo. Do and you? And I've got speaking subtitles. Speaking Yes, and you've got subtitles. I've got subtitles. At the moment still. Um, he's not completely aware of what exactly goes on with mages and all that kind of stuff but he knows that the coven on the hill have kept the village safe for a lot of years and he mm. knows he quite would like the Germans to explode <laughs> <laughs> and that's been, this has been explained to him as a method of accomplishing the latter I like so, this guy <laughs> this is a really large brass bomb they're going to get in it to pilot it there yeah no, 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 I will go like, with them no, he should these be, guys <laughs> kill Germans yep <laughs> he is in favour of that the international science analysis is 
in the world of darkness, that could go much more wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how you could say Nazi yeah, using sign language. Let's, yeah, let's, let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Normally something else. Let's not. Yeah, let's, um, not. let's not. not. Let's not. <laughs> Don't get me banned from YouTube. <laughs> no, please. They're like eagles. Then you could do eagles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop with the hand gestures. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on. Right. We're, we're in the bathosphere. You're in the bathosphere. The boat chugs out about. Basically, he's going to go about two or three miles out around the headland and drop you as close as he dares to where he thinks the sub intake for the base is. Mm -hmm. Um, Those of you that, if anyone's a bit late going into the bathosphere, you can kind of, you can't, I say, because all the buildings on the ground floor are literally just the one story, you can kind of see the profile with the couple of lights they've got up there. But you're quite, you know, a good Mm. couple of hundred metres down a cliff face from these guys. Okay. Let's go. Right, so he will pull the boat round. <laughs> he will kill the engines once they're at a decent point. And he's gone out without lights as well, which is faintly suicidal probably in this weather and anything other than the summer in this bit of water. <laughs> um, and um, basically will knock on the side when you're in the right position. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> 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 At least he didn't hit it with a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll have what? that slightly winch, slightly sort of uh, <laughs> feeling as the winch that he normally uses to pull up the nets swing the bathosphere out. Okay, it's not water. spinning up the thing and leave it here. <laughs> Do I need to... No, no, no. But, okay. I did to one man control. Okay. <laughs> System. Right. Um, the, Go for that. <laughs> right, let's have some form of, of, of operate strange ethercraft role. <laughs> from... I'm sure I'll be great at this. <laughs> oh dear. This I is have absolute awesome. faith. Yay! What is Try it? not to botch. <laughs> Dry over technology. It's going to explode I'm when it touches the water. It's really, <laughs> it's much better. This isn't drive in any possible sense of the word, really. It's another two relevant it's things. An, it's I can't too much more it's effectively it. a mini ether blimp. You are not driving. <laughs> technology. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm going to Yeah, we're going to go with technology. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, Realistically, probably wits. Oh, yeah. Just from oh, yeah. the sheer no. amount of like, oh, what's happening? No, 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 that was going down. Move that up again. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, no, someone, really, seriously, no, you're just next to it. Just put, no, not that one, the red one. Okay, so no, yeah. If anyone sees any water coming in, tell me, because it's not supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> we know that. I am, I am filled with confidence. <laughs> We've been uh, dealing with this for days. This was a good roll. No, you yeah. didn't botch. No. Ron is going to be humming <laughs> <laughs> a, a military tune. I mean, plus I'd like four successes so yeah I'm not sure that the, the yeah. ambassadors have been composed yet <laughs> difficulty six because this is said you know. and four marvellous right it's actually quite a smooth ride I say this thing does not really do much by the way of manoeuvrability uh, it goes up down and side to side and that's kind of it really mm, yeah. and up's really quite slow <laughs> yes and up's really quite slow down is down is fairly swift <laughs> <laughs> funnily enough the big lump of brass, brass yeah it can go well. down pretty well. Really well but it does also have stabilizers so it doesn't sink too far down um are you going to try and engage the camouflage well, i'm going to wait till we clear the boat just in case it does something like make the whole thing explode i'm going to kill the poor fish <laughs> <laughs> you, you wait till <laughs> Or electrifies the local water. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. At least the sound bit <laughs> of clear of the, the fish. The are going to feel that one. <laughs> you are quite a bit lower than them fairly swiftly. Yeah, yeah there is like a gauge, and <laughs> you're going down relatively fast. Right. right. That's where we want to go, though, isn't it? Yeah. So you know where we're going. Yeah? Right. Engage. Camouflage. Device. <laughs> <laughs> that one, yeah. Yeah. I press the button. You press the button. <laughs> We're on the, on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm going to go to a porthole and, <laughs> and in try vain and try and see what's going on. You see the sea. Yeah, basically. It looks, but you, you think you should. It looks kind of blue and wibbly. It's difficult to really tell what it is. I mean, you won't be able to see much out there because unsurprisingly, I haven't got the lights on. <laughs> It is. It is less. It is. Um. It is. It, it's probably not just shiny reflective brass that you think you would have sure. to see that out. Of it. I made it quite dull. Or yeah, it's made it slightly dull. Change the dull. color of it or yeah, something. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Right. And you live in hope that your directions are correct and slowly chug <laughs> in the direction of the sun okay. take bay. Um. I am going to be using correspondence to try and track where we are relative to where we started and where we're trying to go. That is an excellent idea, Colin. Why don't you do can that? Can I use a compass to do you the same? You also can use compasses to <laughs> well, do the same. That's probably survival. Yes, or but it's yes. just correspondence will also give me distances and, and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, probably intelligence, I suspect. <laughs> Although it might take me a little while to roll enough successes to get there. I don't think I'm coming back, so I'm not going to bother. You're not uh, what's the difficulty? 
Six. On my second attempt, then I successfully. Four. Jeez! Right. I successfully survival and survival spawns. and stuff is what I'm good at. Yeah. That's what this yeah. Yeah. Zone. Yeah. 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 And Ron's got his map out and he's got and his, his compass. compass out, and you can sort of go look at that as well, which yeah. probably doesn't help you actually. No. It may. Anyway, um, don't chart. worry. It's, it's a, that way. It's a chart. Are it's, you listen, moving at? I presume you are listening to these two. Knots or, or yes, yes, you are moving at like two knots or something. So it's going to take you a little while to jump down into that. Way a bit. Yeah. Point eight miles per hour. Or yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> One point twenty-one gigawatts. <laughs> right. Um, you mean gigawatts? No. Different <laughs> bits of this thing work at different points and with different degrees of reliability. Oh god. <laughs> Over where Pete is standing. Hello. Oh, yeah, um, it's close for the corner. Yep. <laughs> there is a. Um, I look very tense. <laughs> And in the game. One of the yeah, no. one of the brass panels. It's actually now that you look, you didn't really look at it, but now you look at it. It's actually it's square and it's it's much it's a much finer quality. It's much flatter than what's used around the rest. Um, and it comes to life with some form of visual display. Oh. Um, oh. Have you got matter? Uh, no. No, but you do have forces. Yes. Right. It looks like it. This looks like effectively it's tr- it's sort of a sensor array, but it sort of flickers on and off a few times. Okay. And you think it's picking out the massive concrete balustrades they've used to build a lot of this place. Okay. You can see it's almost picking out like well, a Well, this is remarkable. Um, and that kind of senses with what... That sort of matches up with your map. You can start to try and orientate mm-hmm. it. And you can work mm-hmm. out your position from it, from the cool. grid as well. So yep. that comes on. Okay. So... It does sort of flicker out every now and again. Ooh. Um, oh, and if oh. you try and lean on it, it definitely flickers out. I'm not touching it. <laughs> I'm not touching it. <laughs> but yeah, it's sort of working, and you think it's picking out the concrete, and you can start to like almost align your map on it if you like. So it's like a dense automata or something. Hmm. Yeah. Effectively, yeah. It's it's very basic matter sensing. Sure. It's effectively what it's doing. Right. Wow, this is remarkable. So much um, in one unit. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Most of, some of it works. Some of it. There are creeks occasionally. Roger is slowly put. Anyone who's just um, <laughs> listening on the podcast, Roger's you know, pouring so I finally got it all up to date. Huh. Yeah, Roger's urinating in the corner. Of the <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. Right? Um, it's Roger's corner. It's He's marked corner. it with his scent. This <laughs> is <laughs> my territory. I think you should make Roger your official co-host at this point. <laughs> no, he is. Roger is the official mascot. co-host. Oh, hey, hey. He has more fans than I do. That is fair. Yeah. To be fair. He's got more fans than all of us. Um, right. So um, if you've got one, you've got more than all of us. You have a gift. I do have a gift. There yeah. we go. Speaking speaking of speaking of, of co hosts or mascots as I was expecting you to say. Yes. Where's the dog? <laughs> the dog is right the dog next is to right me. Next to run. We've got a raven for my uh for my bit later on when my eye starts dribbling. Alright, oh good. <laughs> <laughs> we do have them. It's, again, for those of you who cannot see, because it's a, crow. It's a, black, it's it's a black. blackbird. There's a crow and or blackbird and or very small raven between Adam and Colin's yes. head. It's <laughs> for um, Sam's character on Flint and Steel. Yes. I am not remotely that, surprised. Is, is not, me, Sam. Work? <laughs> not me, Sam. Not me, Sam, the that, other girl, other Sam, Sam's. who's seen on the other channel Sam. sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Women are only allowed to be called Sam. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm um, joking. <laughs> joking. Um, right. We'll also accept other S names. <laughs> Sues are welcome. Yes. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, there is worrying creaks. I'm ignoring them. Occasionally. And sweating quietly in the corner. <laughs> and there's something that looks a bit Not like a, a corner in here. tube. I've <laughs> ended up a bit near where you are that occasionally makes whale sounds. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that's that's oh, nice. I'm not going to try and talk to the whale. <laughs> no. Is that it languages? might well be a, a, a extra dimension of you know, it might be an humble whale and, and, and that just gets confused. The whale responded, My mother was a saint <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? We're not upsetting whales. Yes. Right. So, whale and you chuck in. It. So basically the bay for the sub to go on um the advantage of a bathysphere compared to a U-boat is it's pretty small. So you can probably sort of chug into the initial concrete bit below the water level. Mm-hmm. But even with the best camouflage circuits in the world, it probably will be obvious to anyone inspecting the water mm-hmm. level that there's a bathysphere in there. <laughs> um, so once you really get close to the concrete uh, way in, I'm not sure how you wish to play it. There's a tunnel of about five, six metres, and then you're mm-hmm. in to this open, effectively, dock, if you like, for a U-boat. 
Is there a U boat in there? There does not appear to be anything metal picking up oh, on no. anyone's That would have been a great escape mind senses. <laughs> yes, you can. Um, but certainly the ship's sort of eternal mess thing does not say there's any big lump of metal in there. Can we one would hope prime you would... senses? Yes, you can. Prime senses. Basically, do people, ah! want... Yes. Do people want to put yes, various senses up? Yes. I botched. <laughs> Pete's head hurts. Ah, I'm claustrophobic and sweating in a corner. <laughs> can I put a um, load of senses on? You... You can see corners now. I'll kind of <laughs> indicate to the dog to go and try and cheer him up. <laughs> Ollie comes over to you. I've rubbed, I've tickled a bit on the ear. You feel much better. Good boy. Yeah. Right. Um, so prime senses went up. Yes, to marvelous. the limit that I can put them up, which is not that much. Yeah. <laughs> what a success. Up. Right, marvellous. Um, are people putting up other various senses? You have to wait well, a minute, but then you yeah. can again. Um, it depends. If you're like chugging in while you're doing it, I will make you roll, because it's important you get it done before you get in. Mm-hmm. If Adam's going to pause for a bit and let everyone compose themselves before they go in, then you don't have to roll. We'll just assume. So you can, yeah. just look Why out you... the window. You can also look out. <laughs> Take up your visual scanning. <laughs> um, I'm just also... Uh, yes, to the view screen. Predictably, there aren't any <laughs> lights in the actual tunnel bit itself, because one would assume you boats have them. Also, one would assume that you but don't you can have see, <laughs> you can see um, uh, a sort of lighter <laughs> patch of water beyond it, which is probably the more narrow bit that where you actually dock in. Can I pull out my little hand water. torch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna swim in. Uh, I can turn. I think Ron should go in with a knife. His bayonet between his teeth. <laughs> I it doesn't have an Ron airlock. You can't not go exit in underwater. There's no airlock. Yeah, Milena. It, it's one of the limitations of us. You can't leave okay. underwater. <laughs> well, you can leave. Well, we can all leave underwater. <laughs> <laughs> I was obviously joking. Good. Ah, I'm Good. game. <laughs> yeah. To right. be fair, Milena, I completely thought these guys would have put an airlock on. It doesn't seem impossible. We can use forces to make an airlock. That's true, but let's not like better. Uh, okay. okay. Guys. Prime life. I'm right. not going to overdo What's it. What's anyone else putting up anything? Up Mine. Because eventually I'll botch and they'll all fail. You. Um, can I just try and see if there's living stuff around? Yeah, you can. So I'll try matter okay. to see what's around in there. No idea. Right, so whoever's banging, I'm, I'm, I'm banging. Four, you should. If somebody banging, don't bang, apparently, Pete says. Okay. Okay. Right. I don't think I will. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. Um, I will, um... What are uh, you doing? Yeah, I'll, I'll interface with the matter scanner for, on the boat, though. The, yeah. the matter forces matter. apply, because I can detect okay. water currents and things. <laughs> How does that work when I'm using more than and one And also, thing? it'll tell you if there's anything massively powered ahead of how, how long? How would that work? You just roll your arrow table, which is three, and oh, it's the difficult is only four. Oh, one. Oh, you can say that it's still it's up. That's what it needs to be. So, in terms of sensors, as I said, there isn't a U-boat in there at the moment. Okay. It's a large room, but realistically, it's not where they do the experiments or anything like that. So it's when a there's U-boat n- pen. Yeah, so when there's not a U-boat in dock, there's not a lot in there. Yeah. Um, there is, in terms of mind, there is one mind, and it's pretty dozy. Okay. So it's probably sleeping guard at the other side of the door, realistically. Mm-hmm. Um, there's no one else in the pen at the moment from the forces. None of, like, this place would have big floodlights and stuff. They're not on at the minute, because yeah. there's no U-boat in there. There's no point. Um, from a matter scanner... Like I said, I'll plug into, like, the, the main device and basically really, like, make Ooh, sure it's con- constantly on too. and with much yeah. more definition, and can, you can move where it looks yes. at. So basically, got three it sends you a sent the giant concrete bunker effect, if you like, uh-huh. and then the rest of the base is beyond it. Mm-hmm. Um, so the water is still sort of, you know, tens of metres deep, so the bathysphere will fit quite comfortably under the water if you want. Mm-hmm. doesn't appear to be anyone actually in the room. Um, there is, in terms of possible worry when you're taking out, like, maybe forces mages, um, you think they do refuel here, potentially. Mm-hmm. Um, set down into the concrete beneath the fore level is um, basically they refuel um, not probably the U-boats themselves, but items and things and other stuff on it. Mm-hmm. There are several big, like, battery... Not quite chargers, but uh-huh. places for restocking giant batteries. And there's also diesel, mm-hmm. um, which will go bang quite conclusively yeah um, should you get Wicked. anywhere near it that's the plan <laughs> um, pretty hard bear in mind there's a nuke somewhere yeah, in here so well, it, it, not, not, for, well, not, not for someone who really forces wants to be no, 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 just yeah. like saying no that way. it's not going to go off if you look at it funny. D- yeah diesel doesn't go yeah if you just happen to put a spark near it somewhere it's not yeah, petrol yeah, but no, if no. a force major <laughs> really wants diesel to burn it will it's fuel so you're under that um 
prime senses, there's nothing of worry in this immediate bit you're going into. Okay. And likewise with the mind and life, but there certainly are other things beyond. Okay. Has okay. anyone got spirit? Yes. yes. You two. No. Um, and you're using the boats, actually, so other people will see this as well. That's good to say. Further in, about... Literally, probably quite a way in to the area beyond the U-boat, Pensy. You're probably talking... 40 metres, 50 metres. Mm -hmm. Very briefly, it goes off as soon as it comes up. You get this little sort of blazing speck of light that then goes out again on the, um, the, the, the brass signal board. Mm -hmm. Roger is still pouring his beer. Um, <laughs> you said I should use the And mug. if you've got spirit, there is something very briefly. Just something skitters across the edge of your consciousness. It's kind of gone almost before you've registered it. There was something there. What, in... In the base itself, but can I point on the yeah. can I point on this the scanner where I think the purse the sleepy guard is? Yeah, um, basically gonna... the doors. There are big doors from the U boat uh, area. There's, if you like, there's a small person sized door and then a larger vehicle sized door for like bringing stuff down that they're loading and that kind of thing. What I'm loading. Um, the You'll guy is by the, the guard on the other side of the door a... quietly. Yeah. Right. So are you popping into the little trench bit? Yep. Mm -hmm. well, I, I wanted to see Ron come up through the wall <laughs> with bayonet in teeth. Well, what, that's how, are you how are you popping? We're, we're all going to get out and then say, Ron, get is, in the wall. This is not necessarily a normal thing to say. How are you parking your bathroom? <laughs> How does one normally park, park a bathosphere? I don't know. Um, I mean, there are carefully. mooring posts. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> well, so there's no one actually in the room themselves, so we can come up without... We can moor it. We'll probably come... Yeah, I think come up, moor yeah. moor it quietly, and then move on, I think. Our pri private Von McDougal McDoodle will go and... Go and uh, deal with the problem. Deal with the, the guard. When we get out, can I see if I can Sorry. encourage the mind to go to sleep? You can try, yeah. Probably already asleep. It it's, on the, it's, it's on the dopey. verge, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Someone who's really bored or about to fall asleep. I just... <laughs> right, um... Adam's just using the force. You need to work on, the force. <laughs> need to work on his forces. Trying to get For Sam's forces. Forces. Use or the forces. Or doing his best impression of a friendly octopus. <laughs> <laughs> One um, of the two. I'm just getting the mug without disrupting the show at all. <laughs> <laughs> well done, yeah. Alan. Successful. Well done, darling. Yeah. Right. Um, he botched. What did your player roll for that one? <laughs> right. Make a roll for putting this person okay. a little bit more sleepier. So that will be mind three because it's actually affecting people's minds. Yep. So difficulty is six. Come on. One. Yay! You still made him a bit more sleepy. Say, so mage, yep. smaller successes matter. You actually did magic. It's good. Right. So, Roger, um, I say, there is a small person sized door. Is it open? Um, no, it's not. It's closed. It's a steel door. Um, it looks like it's. Has it got a. It has, but it looks to you, it's not really about. Secure it as well. More if they're worried, presumably in the winter, that the water storm can come surge. up into here. Yeah. So it's more to protect from storm surges. So it looks almost like a submarine door set into the concrete in this metal frame. Oh. But it's very unlikely that will open quietly, though. Uh, can you use something like matter and forces to make it quiet? open quietly? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you can. yeah, you totally Sound can. Force. So that will be difficulty five because you're just sort of One. muffling. Go on. It worked. It's seriously the, the roll for mage is three dice for magic. You succeed. If you you succeed. Yeah. <laughs> you succeed with lots of successes. You succeed well. Yes, yeah. and sometimes that's not always necessarily what you wanted to do either. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you use stuff and you just make it very quiet. And if you slightly <coughs> it open, it opens away from you. And there is one young lad, younger than Ron. Um, who is sitting on a chair. He's got his, it's quite a narrow corridor. He's got his feet up on the opposite wall. He's quite a tall lad. And he's not actually asleep, but he's leaning back in the chair looking like he's going that way. Can I sneak round? Well, try and behind him. Like stealthing round. He's blocking the corridor. He's sort of blocking the oh, corridor. Oh, is he facing me? Yeah. He's no, he's, the basically, corridor. you've opened a door that's next he's to him and he's got his legs against... against... His feet are against the other. <coughs> okay. Um... <laughs> We now enter the mass murders of Ron. <laughs> <laughs> he's just going to creep around. He's just stabbing everyone with a bayonet. Even if they're like, just no, no, quietly, no, no. seeing as he's not aware of me, and basically through the throat. Right, so that will be a dex plus melee roll. Difficulty not very much. Difficulty not very much, because he's 
still, so we'll go. But you are trying to get a very specific no. area. Two your melee. Nope. Okay. We're go- you're trying to get a specific area, so we'll go with six because you still <laughs> what you know what you're going into. Okay. okay, for the sake of argument, we should roll damage. So this is one of those slightly more cinematic moments. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is with is this with bayonet edge? Uh, no, this is the knife. Right, so you roll because it's a bit easier to target a specific right, location. You roll whatever your strength is plus one dice. Plus an extra dice. Plus, plus an extra, extra dice, dice for, for the successes. Success. Yeah, that's a very good point, dice. Per success or? No, for the extra success. For the yeah, extra success. Success. Yeah, one success to hit extra success over that other, the die. Yeah. damage. I have no idea why. Oh, that's all right. Sixes. Sixes. Oh, then four. Right, okay. For the rest of you, there is a weird gurgly sound and then a wet sound. Um, I will cover his mouth as well. <clears throat> and there's, yeah, so there's noise of blood on concrete, basically. And I'll kind of poke my head round and go. Yes, yeah. the business we're in right now. <clears throat> Can I keep a, a connection to the do, 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 the spirit side style dot thing that's further in the base? You can try. I'll pull the boy's body or the young man's body <coughs> into the room, like into a corner, yeah, out well, of the it's, way. It's, so it's, it's, a, it's got a large room; it should yeah, be really empty. Sure, sure. Um, right, okay. and his chair possibly as well. Yeah, I'll move that out of the way. Um, Does he well, have anything interesting or? Remarkable upon him. I'm not like looting his pockets for change or anything. No, but, you know he's got not a particularly great quality uniform at this stage in the war. Okay. Four um, gold pieces and yeah. a dagger plus one. No, no, no. no. <laughs> um, right. So Next there is a well corridor. So from those of you with your um, those of you with your plans or who have studied the plans, yep. this is a thin corridor from the person-sized door that links up to the main frontage where the big door is. Beyond that, there is effectively what's almost sort of like the sort of marshalling yard bit of the base, if you like. It's where a lot of the stores are taken in. <coughs> that will almost definitely have people in it because it's where a lot of valuable stuff is. From that, you can either go, if you go up one level, that will be where you think the apprentice mostly had his sanctum where he was working. Um, if you go more over to the left on the same level you're on, you get to where you think the digs for the artifact were Which being is held. where we're heading. Yeah. Um, and if you wanted to go up to where, you know, the other layers where you've been mm. told various other people are laid up in the hospital or otherwise moving around. I, I wouldn't mind chucking a grenade in, the, in there. On the I was going to say, wasn't there, there some, there some kind of evil doctor mm? that we need yeah. to off? Well, uh, need to wouldn't be a bad thing if the we did. Job the perk. trouble is, you don't know. The same level as where Pretty the. Much. <laughs> the Fandy's Apprentice was working is where the, if you like, labs are where the Frenchman blew himself up and stuff like that. Okay. Logically, that's where the mundane R&D is as well as the okay. magical. Right. But if the you don't know if anything's been moved since he died because he sure. was the Resistance's big contact in the place. Okay. So, so logically, the bomb and its working should be up on the level just above you with the Fandy Apprentice's lab. But you don't know for definite where any other bomb bits might be. <coughs> or you can go sideways, almost if you like, starting to go into the glacier itself to go where the digging operation actually is. Well, we're here for the slab, aren't we? That's the primary target. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and then the research. Yeah. <coughs> nice to go. So let's secure that, or get it back to the bathosphere mm-hmm. with Melena, and then go and try and secure any research that we can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Unsling the rifle. Right. Yep. So you make so you've literally just got a few <coughs> yards or so um, this corridor before yeah. it opens to the marshing yard area. There will almost definitely be people there. I'm gonna Are there people there. Yes. I have mind magic. <laughs> I have life magic, sorry. There are right. I have yeah. mind magic as well, but I have life magic actually active. <laughs> I may there have just fixed my bayonet. Five people <coughs> there. I'll I will I will. Um, they are in oh, well, you know it as well because <laughs> they are in two groups. Um there are Three of them standing around what looks like the door to the rest of the base. And they, as those of you are tracking them, they, they move a little bit. Maybe they're loading something or moving something, okay. doing something down yeah. there. There's another one um, by the um, the by the by large doors that would go into this bit that you're already in, the big doors that would go into the U-boat pen. The sort of, you know, like a guard position. Yeah. And then the other one <clears throat> is on the far side towards where you think the passageway to the drilling is. Do we think we can get in quietly? There's someone standing on the other side of the door. Near yeah, us. They're looking. No. Yeah. I mean, the trouble is, it's a large room. If it's empty at the moment, you've got zero chance of getting in with people not seeing you. Because it's just one large open space. If it's full of a load of crates, because they're expecting a U-boat tomorrow, Can you can get half the way around without anyone crates? telling you. Um, matter senses. Matter senses. Have you got yours? You matter senses. Successfully activated. 
Yes. Is it full of a large number of crates? Yes. Um, there are a load of crates in the middle of the bit of the room between, if you like, you and the three guys <laughs> doing stuff. But the as you come out of the corridor, the guy that's standing by the big doors will literally be just a couple of metres away on your left. He'll probably <coughs> be looking in the direction of the rest of the room, but you'll definitely be well within his peripheral vision as you poke out the corridor. Okay. And then I the um, the area yeah, over kind of towards the dealing operation is also clear. You think almost as if it's been deliberately left clear, so there's plenty of good access. Yeah, Down so we're going to have trouble getting into there without being seen. Can I use matter and forces to make me lighter <coughs> on my feet? Could we just make the entire room quiet and then just kill them all? We could do. Or we could get the guard distracted with a noise in his mind and one could sneak around and take him. Yeah, so I want to basically make myself without light. alerting the others is going I to I want to make difficult. him lighter on my I thought it said there's like a there's between us there. and them. I'm not sure it's going to obstruct him. There are boxes that you, you think would probably would obstruct but it's all the same big chamber. So okay. sight-wise, you'd be obstructed. But if sad. there are noises, you okay. wouldn't be. Yeah, so yeah. can I okay. use matter and force? So you can make... make yourself quieter. But if, say, there is gunfire or yelling, it's going to get um, very difficult. Can I... I think I'm light as a feather. You are? Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 789. You just got these guys Can I check the guy's you. surface thoughts on what he's thinking? Yeah, all right, you can have a go. Yeah, <laughs> so that's difficult. That's, that's uh, five for that. Two. I could kill for a Brad first. Right. When will this boring shift end? <laughs> no, what he is thinking is he is concerned. Right. Um, he's preoccupied that somebody in the hierarchy above him who he's quite afraid of is due here quite soon. Um, Fair he enough. He <laughs> is concerned that... Um, he effectively thinks that he... Well, he's probably in a similar mindset to Jeremy earlier. He is pretty certain that with the Nefandi Master arriving here, so does the death of everyone in this base, as far as he's concerned. Mm -hmm. um, he is pretty certain that it's all about to go horribly wrong and is thinking fatalistic thoughts. Can I enhance those fatalistic thoughts and you make them try. extreme? Unlike or could I make that... him think, they're not moving fast enough and when he comes down here, he's going to kick our asses. I need to go and help them sort out whatever they're doing. This guy is a little bit more complicated than the dozing bloke earlier. This okay. is not one of the slightly mm, terrified constructs. Is this an SS guy? Could well be. He's, you can give it a go, but he's got a slightly... Basically, he's got a slightly higher willpower than your standard mortal because sure. he's heavily brainwashed, effectively. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but therefore, I'm going to go for the uh, the other one. I'm not going to go for suicidal one. I'm going to go for... All right, give it a go. Difficult yeah, steps. like, oh, he needs to go over and help them sort or whatever they're doing out because they're making... They're not... Oh, Try and heighten his irritation with them, basically. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just to make him distracted. Yeah. Uh, two. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. Are the rest of you going to put... That's going to take a little few seconds sure. to percolate yeah, through yeah. his brain. Yeah. And after a while, because <laughs> you're, you're not far, you can start to hear some footsteps. Um... I can sense him moving. Um, yeah. Do any of you speak German? I mean, you've yes. got subtitles saying you can speak German <laughs> yeah. anyway. You two at all? <coughs> but you both recognise Nine. German. Yes. Nine? <laughs> you two can hear. Basically, there is effectively the equivalent of, you fuckers, what are you even doing? Is that even where you were told to go? Move fast. Seriously, you're going to get us all I'm, bloody I'm killed. I'm going in. What are you even trying to do? And there is a sound of him moving away from you, though, as he does so. Um, I'm yeah. going to basically go in to the room. Okay. Those as you go in, right. So um, a, is he still both scared from the view of the others? Right. So it's a big open room. There are a big pile of boxes, not, but they're probably about 10, 11 feet. Um, but it's not like it's not like a full barrier. It's not filling the room. He is making his way through a gap in the crates towards the other guys so to can shout they, at them. Can they... So they can probably see him by now. But he is moving away from you between the crates. And making some noise and drawing attention to Down him. Down to your left. Well. Make so me you could... a... <laughs> What are you doing? I have to roll a willpower roll because he's a fascist. Very good point. Oh yes. Oh yeah. I have no idea how this works. I think you passed. What is your willpower? Nine. Right. If you have sixes, you've probably passed. Oh, he's got one. I've got one. I just passed. You rolled fours. It was like you are. You are steaming cross, but you've got it under control. However, another target, luckily, is almost presenting itself. As you come in, you can see that down a little bit and across to one way is this other doorway into the drilling operation. There is another guy standing there. Um, 
it's difficult to tell what was going on with the guy who's retreating in front of you. But the guy standing by the door has very definitely got an SS uniform on. Um, he looks awake. He looks alert. You're being very light, so he's not going to notice you by hearing. But make me some form of dex and stealth roll for him not to have spotted you visually. Because you're not fully in the room yet, I'm assuming. But he is facing... Three. Oh, that's a, that's a good one. Right. And it is a bit harder for him because he's made himself very quiet. But he's also quite good at this. Do you want a screen? No, I'm good. <coughs> My bad guys traditionally don't roll very well. How many above six have you got? Uh, three. Right. He... Um, you see him start to look over in your general direction. Does he spot me uh, before I can get into cover? You can duck back down the corridors where these guys are, but if you're trying to go further into uh, no, the No, no, I'm just going to duck into the nearest cover. So if I see him <laughs> beginning to move his head, I'm just going to be like... Uh, that That's pretty much backwards. is back, with, back to you okay. guys. <laughs> I will, yeah. I'll but you that. think he saw movement or something. Grenade. Even though you probably didn't hear a damn thing, <laughs> I suddenly reappear and like, yeah. oh, um, I, they're probably at least suspicious. Right. <laughs> Again, those of you that can speak German can hear yeah. him yelling in the direction of the other guys. Thought I saw something. I'm just going to go and check. Um, He's coming this way. Take. Uh, Let's all move back. Yeah. Get him Hide yourselves. Down. Can I just kind of like stand behind the it's door with a knife ready, basically, corridor to come around It's a like, narrow corridor. Let's get back into no, the room. No, no, I'm saying get back into, get the, back into the sub base. Yeah, sub-bay. and then just let's do the thing where the door is just... When he comes around the corner and he goes, Ooh, yeah, go I'm basically going to position going myself behind the Blood the, on the floor might give it away. Behind the door. <laughs> oh, there is blood on the floor, isn't there? Yeah, you've not had time to clean <laughs> the floor. I'm, I'm just going to position myself behind the door. If he like kind of comes so to the door, I'm just going to so jab a bayonet. So you're dropping back towards the sub bay. <laughs> like, 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 apart from, I think as I understand is apart from one. So yeah, but just if, if, if Ron's behind the door, there isn't a door the between the corridor and the room. That makes sense. There's only a corridor between the sub bay and I am, but he's going to have to come down. I'm assuming he's going to come down the corridor, and if he does, he's going to get a bayonet in the throat. He comes down the corridor a little bit, then you hear him stop. Then you hear more shouting. Um, basically, well, he won't see the blood yet. He won't see the blood yet. No. Um, What's he and shouting? You hear him shout back to the other guy. Cover the door. I'm going to go and have a look in the sub bay. <laughs> um, again, those of you tracking the mind, the mind the one you made cross is now going back towards the door that this guy was covering. Okay, so he's gone over to his position. <laughs> extra cross. Yes, he's now extra cross because okay. he's been told what to do by somebody else as cool. well, which in his current mindset is not a great thing. Can I affect them without massive, without without correspondence? Yeah, they're near enough. Okay. Shall I try and make the gun not work? <coughs> yeah, have a go. I assume you need the bad rifles, yeah? Um, you think you didn't get a really good look at him, but you think the one coming towards you might have had a sidearm as well. Yeah. But they definitely had rifles. Okay. Well, you still have to use his. You try and use his rifle, guns. realize it's not working. <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. And then draw his first sword. Then yes, so you try to make firing him. He's probably already yeah, been sat. Yeah. 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 He's yeah, fragile is... than you'd expect, or yeah. something. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. I'll try and hit both of them, but you know that's extra successes. Yeah. Yeah. So, one success, probably. Okay, yeah. but you can, yes, gum up the one that's coming towards you. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, right. Once he gets to near enough to see the blood for what it is, um, <laughs> he starts to shout something um, back over his shoulder. Well, the, the blood wasn't, like, immediately visible through the crack in the door, so he would kind of have to edge the door open. Um, no, no, the blood uh, was in the... Oh, in the, 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 the corridor. Right, yeah, yeah, so the we've got a okay, doorway... Yeah. Oh, sorry. And okay. a corridor. Peter, may I and use a, a slice wood. of paper from your yeah, lovely notebook? Yeah. I apologise to the viewers because I can't draw and you won't be able to see Oh, it this. was right by the door, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. it was. Oh, in so which case, just on then, the I will... of the door. You're gonna I'm wait. assuming I know sound well enough to know when he's like a foot of, like a couple of yards away from me. I'm literally, as soon as he kind of gets down, gets to the point where he's going to look down and see it, I'm going to step around the corner and go for the jugular. So basically, the very, very what's it for you, this is the sub bay where you guys came in. There was a door you pulled towards you and the bloke you killed in the corridor. You went a little bit further along the corridor mm-hmm. and saw this guy standing at his door, having chased off someone that was here. He's now come down here. He's got to about there yep. and can see that there's blood. Oh, so he's halfway down the corridor. Yeah, but he's, it's, I say, it's only a sort of, you know, five, six metres of short corridor. So he's come down three, say four, and has realised what's on the floor is red. Okay, well, if he's looking down, I'm going for it. Is there any way that I can, like, obscure people's perception of things in mind? So, like, make it so that he can't it's register... possible, but I think we've got 
to the point where he's seen this. Okay, now, fine. Probably. No, just right, for future okay, reference. Make, make me a rushing. Yeah, but for no, future just for future yeah, reference. You cause people to overlook things. Okay. Right, make me a dex and melee roll to Jeez. rush around the corner and get him. It's difficulty. You've got a specialization with bayonet, so you can roll that again. No. No. What's um, the difficulty? So you've got to both get round that and it? get him. So like seven eight, we're going to say seven, I think, more than four. the standard of six. And he will get some it's chance to get out of the way, but it's hard. Roll. That is hard like a machine. It's hard for him to get out of the way because he's not definitively aware there's anyone here. Especially yeah, seeing as I, I don't make right. footsteps right now. <laughs> that said, he is, he is reasonably good. You get him, but only really just get him. Bloody hell. Um, so you are doing your strength plus one damage. Two. Two, two, two bayonet. damage. Bayonet. Bayonet. bayonet two. Do I get anything for the successes? Um, nope. No, because he nearly all dodged them all. He negated those. He dodged it. And what's damage is sixes, isn't it? Damage ones is don't cancel. Just two. Oh, wow. I say ones don't cancel on damage is an important thing to bear in mind. I don't know this time. Right. That's still, you still stuck it in him pretty nastily. I was, going for, the, I did, I was going for the throat as well. Right. Okay, in which case, yeah. No, you can get somewhere in here. You sort of, yeah, stab it in him. Um, there is definitely now, however, noise. Um, and you can hear some people coming in. That, But he'd been shouting to people to come anyway when we'd seen the blood. Um, and you can hear more footsteps coming in I'm general direction. I'm going to be lining up for the next person to come. If there's space for me to fire a shot at, the next person to come um, around the corner is getting shot. I'm going to drop to one knee. And can, you, can I use stuff to make my gun quiet? Because if I can do the it with The trouble a is, this guy, he's taking two points of damage. He's... Not looking well, but he's still up. Yeah, he's oh, okay. injured. He is he's injured. Shouting. He's injured, but he's no, also hurt. armed. Yes, he's hurt, he's hurt but he's armed. Um, yeah. He is going to go for his rifle because he doesn't realise the sun. He doesn't, doesn't realise the meter right has broken it. Um, or actually, if you're in that place, is he going to go for a knife instead? Um, it's harder to break I'm than not <laughs> that close to him because I'm at the other That's end of a rifle doing no, this. No, he will try and get down and he's assuming you're not by yourself. He will try and get his gun down. Yes. Um, but he is still up. You can probably try and shoot round, but you have to be shooting round him and Ron. If so I hit him, botch. I'm not so worried. Yeah, if I hit Ron, botch, I'd rather then you might hit Ron. If you hit Ron, he's fine. He'll just go, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Don't hit Ron. Uh, <laughs> then. Right, you, can out, and you can see three guys in the less okay. good quality uniforms yeah. pegging down the corridor. Um, I have precise as a deck specialization. Yep, Ooh. I will allow that if you get any successes. What are Jeremy <laughs> and... There is an if in that statement, well, yeah. It's... There's suddenly a kerfuffle going on and hand-to-hand yeah, combat and shooting. I'm, I'm like Not having ten, flashbacks. With a six and a nine. Right. Are Abe and Jeremy keeping out of the way, basically? I'm having point. flashbacks. It's quite crowded, but it's going to be difficult for you to get in in a physical way yeah, yeah, if just... you want to muck around with more magic. I was going to say, yeah, I might try the gun messing up thing again. And you can tell me at what point you're sort of becoming coincidental. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, you let off a shot of the guys coming down the corridor. Um, bang. Yes, bang. Let yeah. me see. These guys they are... They know we're here. Good, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, are no, you aiming cool. at anything more specific than the front one? I'm aiming at the front one. Right, you hit <laughs> it's, it's him. You only so, just yeah. hit him, so you don't get any extra successes. But assuming you're shooting down a narrow corridor past your mate, that's not bad, really, in the great scheme of things. What's um, the damage on a Luger? A Luger is probably mm. roughly equivalent We did work this out a while ago, and then... I haven't written it's just a pistol. Revolver? Yeah. Um, it, yeah, it's a 9mm handgun. I don't so, know if they've but got... But similar one. damage oh, nine, level. 9mm light pistol. Oh. It'll be that. Yeah. Four. Okay. Damage four. Yes. What's some red? Hmm. Four successes. Right. Four successes. <laughs> one of them goes down. <laughs> he um, is not going to work. There is a bang. Right. Adam, you, you... Well, you had it too, but you're probably a little bit preoccupied at this point in time. <laughs> Um, I'm fumbling with my... my where my gun is in the goes. thing, and I'm, like, remembering... Shooting myself in the foot. <laughs> Don't um, shoot yourself Lena in the foot. Lena uh-huh. is trying to get... Because she had almost like a... Well, this stolen German rifle. She's going to be um, Which she is busy loading to try and... Basically, she's waiting if there is an opportunity. She's not going to try and have two people shoot down the corridor past you, mate. Because that... <clears> really, it's not going to work. So, to at this point, we are now in, in... I think we now need to be in combat rounds proper. Yay. So, we need to know Ooh. who is acting in what order. That's that. Right. I was going to say, a fighter sounds a, a rarity. Right, what is roll, going on? You roll a d10 and you add your wits and your dex. As a number. As a number. It's such a <laughs> random That's weird way of playing dex. Despite not, the it, fact you do nothing else in the system like this at all. Yeah. Yeah. It's like just 14. Um, why don't 14? they make you roll your wits and your decks and the number of successes seven. is your initiative? We don't know. Answers on a postcard, White Wolf. We don't know. <laughs> why do we do it? White Wolf don't exist anymore. Whoever's running them now. Paradox why? Entertainment. 10! 
So the you're mighty having your 14. flashbacks at very high yeah. initiative. So oh, yeah. 14 to the I lane. snap out of it. This is my moment. I've been. Right. This is why I'm here. Unfortunately, so, I'm in the way. <laughs> yeah. Those I of you doing a 14, the you are getting gun out, getting gun loaded. Uh, I am clouding the mind of the man that Ron is fighting with. Oh, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Okay, I'm clouding the mind <laughs> of one of the people down the corridor. Right, you can do that. Also, they're, they are weaker willed and more easily influenced. Aha! I am destroying the psyche of one and, of the people down there. One of them's just gone. One of them, like, the, the mate yeah. of theirs that was the fastest runner has just yeah. polaxed, so <laughs> I think they're probably more easily. Can I instill the fear of the Nefandi? The fear of the Nefandi might make them come forwards more because going away is more likely to get his You're right. not sure these guys have got complicated enough thought processes to okay, know who he is because they're, not, they're, okay, not, they're, they're just not told anything. Labourers and loaders. Yeah, okay. effectively. Difficulty what, what? five, so yes, yeah, so you can. Yeah, one of them is now having second thoughts about his life. <laughs> Roger. Well, seeing as my gun is actually buried into him, yes, because yes, it's got a true. knife Bang. in it, I'm going to pull the trigger. <laughs> that seems reasonable. It's not through, so why not? And make me a dex. If I can, he pulls it out. I'm going to kind of yank it into a position where it would possibly yeah, go through him and hit the, someone behind him. Effectively, make, make me a dex and firearms roll to get a useful angle to do some damage to him, and if it's brilliant, it might do some damage to somebody Just else. Just a shame it's not a shotgun, and you can go... Roger, through. it's coming <laughs> the other zone, and it's... Um, difficult to see from there. Oh, Five Possibly successes. from Dust Till Dawn, because I vaguely remember it. Yes, it is from Dust Till Dawn. Oh, Good man. Okay. The, the, the closest yeah, shotgun. Yeah, okay. yeah, but um, when he's holding him, he goes... He actually... It's like, Sorry. He is not really as good as he should be at the moment because he's got a bayonet stuck in him, which <laughs> drastically reduces your ability to get out of the way. Of trying to <laughs> the bayonet. bayonet. <laughs> However, he does actually manage to swivel, so at least it's not facing like directly into his chest cavity, which is something. Um, so do me the shooting of the gun. Did we already decide what your damage yep. was? Uh, rather more eight. than... I think it's about eight. Whoa! This, this right is your magic gun, yeah, isn't it? No, this, is oh, this is my lucky gun. Yeah, yeah this is my lucky gun. Well, no, no, the eight is a, a standard gun. I, yeah. Don't know yeah, yeah. What, I don't know what the wonder does. But isn't it a wonder? It's a wonder, but I have no oh, idea what that does. Oh, roll the damage. Oh. Well, the, the wonder will do a right, thing. So, it's, do I, so is it just the you damage of the gun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a machine. But you could get extra if you've got a lot sixes. of extra successes, but he's actually Oh, hello. Really good. Oh, hello. Um, five. He's almost dodged a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel sorry for the guy. Five. Five. SS Nazi. <laughs> Although, do I get to re-roll the ten? Because I'm no. a rifle specialist. Oh, okay. no, Doesn't there's no ones or tens on okay. damage rolls. Again, but God five. knows why there isn't all the yeah. rest of the system. Right, so five. So yeah, there is a m- massive bang and Well, it's, it's just as loud as another gun. Explodes. Yeah, but it's kind of in somebody, so it's a bit of an odd It's odd actually geology. gonna be slightly muffled. Slightly muffled, yeah. <laughs> followed by splashy. Um, <laughs> Uh, as yes, a Splashy. significant portion of this guy's insides hit the wall opposite him. You made that sound um, cheerful, sometimes. and he slides off. Did I manage to hit one of the other people? You didn't, but um, I so say you didn't manage to do that. But the um, one of the guys who possibly was the one that Pete was influencing sort of looks at all in horror and just legs it. Um, can I whistle? Yes, you can. Release the hounds. <laughs> right, the hound will go up. We'll attempt to go after him. That is sending the hound in front of someone that's still got a gun. But um, yeah, well, I think they might be a bit. The hound is fast. Yes. Yeah. Right. Uh, so further down the. And then I'm going to shoot Adam. Uh, can I drop to one knee as soon as I've done that? One. <laughs> I'm dropping to one knee as soon as I do. As soon as the guy's sliding off my gun, I'm yeah. dropping. Okay. Again, I'll be trying to break any nearby guns for now. Okay. Yep. Yeah, there's another one of the. Uh, yes. Yeah. Kind of makes Rufus's it. shots easier if I'm not stood up. Like I say, I'm, I'm on the other side of a wall, so yeah, my targeting is going to be yes, gun be press, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Second volley, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Uh, got two. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Um, so. So yeah, I've got like a little um, radar <laughs> thing that I'm kind of playing with. The thing. <laughs> like, well, I've kind of put the little, uh, wired attached thing, and I'm kind of turning some dials on that, and then I'm writing some numbers down with like my left hand. Gun <laughs> says, "Nope." <laughs> Colin. Yes. As your initiative did not go well for you, no. one of the conscripts down the corridor wild. takes out his rifle, leans it at, loads it, at, lines it up towards you, pulls the trigger, and it goes clunk. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm probably already <laughs> ducking somewhat behind the door yes, frame because I don't know it's about to go off. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, let me get down to you. Awesome. I'm, I'm going to... The guy you hit the first time is not dead, but he's on the floor and he's bleeding everywhere. He's on the floor, he's bleeding, and he looks like one of the conscripts. So yeah, he's I'm not... He's, he's not, probably not going to do any no. heroic last stand things. You're um, yelling a lot at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go for the guy who just tried to shoot me. You still get to get out of the way, but he's, again, he's not as good because he's just a conscript. So how many did you get? Um, do I get to reroll the ten despite the one cancelling on it, or does that cancel my ability to reroll it? Well, it does precise count. Basically, one's cancel ten's first, so I presume they cancel mm. the reroll ability. Okay, then. so whatever then. How many Two successes. Two successes. Right, you've hit him. Awesome. Probably so good. roll the damage of that. Go on. Three. Three, nice. Right, again, you... Three out of four dice, yeah. Three out of four is cracking. You hit him somewhere sort of on his sort of left hip, um, and the leg sort of oh. buckles, and he drops down to one knee. Oh, you bastard. Um, <laughs> well done. <laughs> and the, yeah, the leg buckles, and he drops down to one knee. Um, the guy in the room is doing something, but you don't know what he's doing. Um, <laughs> I love it when you Master says something. Back round to Pete and uh, Roger. Or Jeremy uh, and Ron. <coughs> Next. <coughs> I'm literally just charging out. Charging down the corridor. Can right. I follow on behind? One him? The f- there's one can of the front I, like, who's screaming on the floor. I'm ignoring uh, him because he's on the floor can I screaming step round and stabbing the standing one. Hmm? Can I step round? Probably. Probably. Like, if you stick your like, move well, like edge yeah. to the side. And also, side. Ron's moving forwards to intercept. <coughs> Yeah, so I'm going to follow up behind him. And the guy Ron was originally fighting is on the floor. So, <laughs> With a bit of a dead? hole in him. Or dying. He is dying. So who's on the Got floor the, crying? The one I shot. Okay, uh, the I'm, I'm going to shoot him with a substantial past. hole in him. So, so if he charges beyond and there's well, a guy presume, not dead I just on the floor. I just put a round through him at point blank. He's not that one. No, no, the, the no, one the I shot with the further up, you're running past him. The guy... Right, for what's... So the guy Roger... Attacked first, the yep. SS guy is on the floor. He is not instantaneously dead because of the way White Wolf system works, but he is sure. dying. He will okay. be dead in the next That's few fine. moments. That's fine. Um, a, but ahead of we, there were three conscripts that were coming around the corner. Yep. One has turned tail and run. Ollie has gone after him. You don't know where he is at the moment. Yep. The other two, one Colin hit first. He is on the floor and he is yelling and crying and Wasn't screaming. There an SS guy. He's there was an SS guy somewhere, He's in the room. He's somewhere in the room. So the guy, so setting up a light two, machine gun. <laughs> of the two constructs remaining, one is on the floor and is yelling and probably in the process of dying. One is the one you just hit on the hip, who's gone down basically by his mate. So they both stood so next to Roger's each other. Roger's charging that guy. Yeah, are you charging and the I'm more I'm going to shoot the one, one who's yeah. on the floor because okay. I'm less competent. Okay, you shoot the guy on the floor. The difference would be like four because he's a bloke on the floor. This might hurt him. Right, you are going to do. So <laughs> he's not as good. Oh, he's severely reduced dice. You got a. You got a ten. He fluffed the roll anyway to get out of the way. What's the difficulty? Six, and it's opposed, but he's okay. botched. Um, <laughs> wow. Right. Six. You go Six. straight, straight in, a load of blood comes out of his mouth, and he slides off your gun absolutely lifeless. <laughs> I got one success. You hit him. Yay! Roll the damage on the loser. Roll that four dice. Four dice. Four dice. Four dice. Okay. Because he can't dodge. Here we go. He's laying on the floor yeah. yelling. Uh, two. Two successes, right. You According to White Wolf, he is still on the floor. But he's still, he is very, very Yeah, that's fine. Well. Right, that's fine. he is, he is mostly well. down. The vehicle took you by surprise. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> he was a bit close to my foot. Right. <laughs> he also had to aim to... Oh, no, yeah. not the, not the <laughs> <laughs> right, there are two shots that sound in the, in the wider room that you haven't got into yet. There are oh. two shots... That sound like things hitting boxes. Okay. And then um, Ollie comes tearing back down the corridor towards <laughs> you. <laughs> Ollie found someone shooting back. Yeah, okay. Um, however, he looks really unusually twitchy, even for, hi- for him. He wants you to go somewhere now. What's that boy? Nazi needs a killer. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right. Um, so we, they're all dealt with in uh, the corridor. Are they all dealt, all with? dealt with in the corridor. There were some shots into some boxes. You don't know where that person is. And as I say, the other SS guy yes, has yet to reappear. That's a fair point. <laughs> right. The other SS guy has left the room and gone down towards the digging site. 
Oh, the rest of it. Right. The other shots were from the conscript that was running away. Okay. Um, ah. He took a couple of pot shots at the dog as he left it, legged it out of that room and into the area beyond. Right. So we've got one conscript's gone, <laughs> probably going to get some help. The or something. The um, other the other soldier is heading towards the dig site. We should probably be following. Okay. Him. Well, Ollie wants you to go towards where the conscript went. Yeah. No, I'm following him. He's not getting away from me. I guess I can outrun this nerd. Right, well, I'm just okay. regrouping and going. Um, I'd say... I've already gone. You're okay. okay, he's not heading the direction I just... I was in the post of saying we should Canadian assassin is off. <laughs> um, so you want to go and sort I out the soldier? Go and sort out the, I want to go and sort out the dig site, because that's why we're here. Yeah, but the thing's not still there, is it? Probably. Think so they haven't been able to lift. They haven't been able to drill through. Is, is it clear in there? Uh, Milena yes. has gone. Yep, yeah, we're clear. We're good. Yeah. Um, any gren- anyone got any grenades? <laughs> they don't oh, give the yes. grunts grenades. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna hold out one of the, the uh, guns. The SS guns got yeah, we've got grenades. I'm gonna hold he... out his gun as you come around oh, the corner yeah. and say, "Can you make this work fine. again?" I'm assuming oh. you made it not work. Uh, I'm, it yes. work. I'm assuming uh, we were fine. Does the SS grenades. guy have a grenade? Um, you have grenades. The SS guy does not have a grenade. Okay. Um, the SS guy. Funny has... enough, they don't give the people fighting in enclosed spaces no, I know, full of but... friends. <laughs> yeah, no, no, Roll your perception case. and awareness as Ooh. you're examining him. There are. Yeah. Um, the, the SS guy who's dead had a pistol that's still working. Two of the he had a nicer rifle that you've jammed up. The other two, oh. the other, I probably would the other two the SS had slightly rifle. more rubbish rifles. Mm-hmm. Um, but one is also jammed up. Yeah, I probably would have grabbed the SS guy's rifle and. Yeah. Checked on the SS and guy. realized that okay. it's not working. Uh, the SS work? guy's got bullets for a Luger as well. Just, just thorough count. For the perception and awareness, yeah. Okay. If you're looking, you're trying to find your round. Oh my god. So it's like oh. three. Oh my god. For this, because if you're touching the body, it's One. blightly obvious. Right, okay. As you go through things, you're like, oh, because awareness is magical sense. Sure. Yep. And if you pull up his sleeve at all mm-hmm. you can see on his forearm there is a really it's not even really a tattoo to be honest you think it's probably a brand oh. um, but it's been it's healed ish so it's probably right. a few weeks old and it's um, of a rune that you are not wholly familiar with but for some reason goes something at the back of your captain. brain goes captain yeah. I'll hold up this dead guy's <laughs> arm <laughs> right well like um, I said I've got it's a, I've still a got... rune normally associated with Loki it's a got... uh, rune associated with the Loki. Probably makes sense with this it's guy doing thinking something. that he's Loki. I've got the... Um, he's a, doing something. A spiritual... Well, he's dead. So. An extra-dimensional connection with the thing. Oh. I think I know where the tablet is, because I can... You know, when you I can just, sense it. Yeah. Scan it before, I, I, unless it's moved. I've still got okay, well, let's, we should head in that direction. So, I'm a bit worried that this thing is, like, allowing him to know where all his little it dudes It turns are. off. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. It probably allows him to know that Someone started killing his dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, which is why I think we should get on with oh, the main no, objective. I absolutely agree. <laughs> I out. absolutely agree. Let's go. Right. How easy is it to uh, people looking at Roger Men here on like a whatever an SS rifle would be? Would it have been to like literally just change the firing pin? <laughs> what to f- to unjam a rifle? Yeah. Well, but no, no, if, I, if the firing pin was broke and had snapped, well, if, if you had another firing pin, then yes. Yeah. Assuming or it was for the same model of rifle, because yeah. German engineering was notoriously complicated. Yeah, but I can make an extra. Uh, uh, I was going to say you're a mate, you easily. can make a fire. Yeah. Then, then, yeah, you could probably just you, you could probably repair the existing pin. one because yeah. you'll have the material. So, it's just yeah. I try to do it not magically first. So <laughs> you are you you still have this slight blip on spirit senses that we yeah. are thinking possibly is the tablet. Yeah. Okay. Um, which just you need to go through that door and then almost round down on yourself. Rounding up the door where the dude just ran. Yes. <laughs> this is why I'm intended to go that way. Yep. You are not... Run! I am hooning it after the guy okay. that's running. Right. As, literally as fast as I can go. So with, he doesn't get back up. With Ollie. Yeah, I'm trying to stop him getting... Sorry, right. but... <laughs> okay, make How me... about you two go and sort out the tablet and I'll back up Ron? Good. Right. <laughs> Ron's gone. <laughs> I'm going to run after Ron. Right, exactly Malena's like, I'll go with you two then. Okay. Right, so you make me a Dex and Athletics and you make a full-up Dex and Athletics. Okay, Right, Great. you two, this door has been left open. Oh, okay. really well. Um, and um, beyond it, you can see a few yards of um, uh, concrete oh. and then it starts to look like rocks. One. Which okay. is what you think matches with what the coven has told you, that you're um, okay. coming towards an older mine shaft area, basically. Okay. Yeah, we Remember did. We're in. Ron, did I get... um, Ron just won the Olympic 400 meters. <laughs> <laughs> the gun? The gun. Do you want to make a roll through? Um, yes. After all this blah 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 mage, From blah 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 turn. magic, don't understand no, stuff, it's like, now let's kill things. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. If it's not magic, you make me a roll. Um, 
Adam, now you're properly in the place, you Where's think this area is very friendly to your paradigm. Wits and Yeah. There's nothing about magic. Yeah, nothing about magic. And now I'll just unbend this bit, and then I've got a bit of a little twist yes. around it. And What's the difficulty six. And two successes. Three. Yeah. Three. Oh, yeah, twist, yeah right. <laughs> you, twist, you twist it round a bit, and then you get a new bit, and then you've got a little thing that's that shaped, and yeah, it's good. Right, oh. you have a functioning rifle. Yes, I should give that to him. <laughs> you have a functioning I, rifle. I wanted a bigger gun. It's one of those. I things, wanted a bigger well, gun. It's just the, the, the look on your face there, Colin. Though, right. was see, that I was suspect glint. Colin's like well, after I pull the trigger on mine. I want one. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's also, I want something that can actually reliably drop a uh, soldier. Yes, yeah. Not just so anyone you... I'm going to have to take three so or four shots yeah, and put them down. Five. Right, yeah, he's just setting well records. And I rolled one. <laughs> well, you're See? making up behind him. Um, yeah, I'm, well, I'm you know, doing I'm... well for someone who's just had their foot healed. <laughs> you are. Right, we shall, you guys are going to, yes, crash, basically. You go out through the door. There's like two uh, flights of stairs as he's gone do I, up. Do I catch him? Um, you are going to, just as you get into the room at the top. So I will go back to these okay. guys for a second, Ooh. and then we shall tell you what's in the room at the top. Uh-huh. Okay. Right, you Get guys head down. <laughs> mm-hmm. I say, um, you know this guy. Well, you presume this guy is in here somewhere. You certainly felt the mind go this way. Life, but yeah, yeah, life go <clears> this <throat> way. Um, but you're not. <clears throat> yeah, you've no idea how deep this thing is. You don't know if it's a hundred yards or a mile. But you've well, got to, well, that's like you know how deep it is because you've got matter scans. It's quite a way. You're not a hundred percent certain how it all connects up on where the tablet is because you've got the brief yeah. spirit thing that that yeah, was about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I was going to well, say I know roughly how far away the tablet is, but I don't know you had to get there. So right. <laughs> heading, you've only got one option at the moment. So heading you onwards, head forwards, right? Okay. I'm going to head on to the different rate of speed. Um, <laughs> Melena is probably going to if you're going towards the front. Melena is probably going to go towards the back because she thinks these guys might double round on you possibly. Yeah. Um, right. So you can go in the middle. Don't let them kill the scientists. The guy in the I middle that always bit. gets taken. No, don't let them kill the scientists. I know this bit. While I'm is Milena. going, can I... Because they said there was a rune on the guy's arm. They did. Can I do prime senses to see if there's any magical effect ahead of us? Yes, you can. Oh. Four? Four, yeah. <laughs> Eight, four? It's, it's, it's sensory, yes. Um, there are uh, three effects ahead of you. One very minor that senses an awful lot like the tattoo, so right. it's probably another bloke Why with a tattoo, 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 well, brand tattoo, whatever mm-hmm. the hell it is. Mm-hmm. It looks manky. Um, there's probably one of those ahead of you. Crude. There is a medium sized uh, running effect, um, which, which you get a strong sense of its being extremely persistent. Right. Uh, and there is a massive prime effect that could largely be summed up as nope. <laughs> like premium, like premium, no. Nope. No, 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 the the master has been doing something here, and therefore it's corrupt and evil. No, or nope in the just, sense yeah. of like, you are not getting in here. You are not coming in here. Yeah, nope. Nope. Right, nope, nope, a barrel nope. full of nope. <laughs> <laughs> So it's probably whatever's protecting it's the tablet. Yes, the, almost mm, definitely. The yeah. It could even be a pallet of nope. It's all could the be. nope. Right. You, um, Bushel. Right. You Bushel can start to see... Um, basically, they've kind of... The concrete bit had lighting ran. This mm-hmm. bit kind of hasn't, really. But as you head round... A, but there's sort of light coming down. I'll be saying but, there's, a, there's some sort of thing ahead... Um, I think this guy's got one of those tattoos, but I think there's something else ahead that's some sort of alarm, maybe, or other long-term thing, I don't know. But just be an eye out for um, a okay. usual... Right. Are you attempting to move at speed to inset this guy before he gets to what you think the blip of the thing is? Yes. Right, then make me some dex and athletics <laughs> rolls for moving... <laughs> You're going to leave me behind. <laughs> go, Abe, go! <laughs> one! <laughs> Have you got one dex and no athletics? Six. I do. Whoa. Three. Or zero dex and one athletics. Eight. I got a nine. Six. Hey. <laughs> Getting slightly better and you can join my Olympic team. <laughs> right. Three nines. <laughs> Whoa. Abe is moving very slowly. It's an emergency. Slowly. Where's all that Leave gear he's going? Leave right. Abe behind. Just over the He can catch up. Two suitcases. Come on. Elena stays with you. Yeah. And it's like, give me, no, seriously, give me the bag. I'll have the bag. No, you've got like one of those old TV. TV wheel <laughs> sets from like ba- when I was at bag. primary school. Like, you do the. I have the bag. No, no, come on. Melania is. I'm not the heavily doing this down. I'm just running through that. Melania is basically chivying you along. Is what's uh-huh. happening there? Okay. Right. 
Um, you run down the corridor, and as you turn around the edge, <laughs> you can see, even before you see the guy, an amber glow. Okay. As in an actual amber light. And yeah. then you round the corner. Right, so we shall leave you do briefly there. What? And then <laughs> oh, leave you to... Right. Yep, yeah, lining up my shot. <laughs> Um, Who's got the bullet? You've got the bullet. I've got the bullet. You've got the bullet, yeah. What the guys are back to... Just remembering that. Um, Right, this room is a large... uh, This looks like this is one of the lab areas. No, you want to fire accident. (laughs) On one side of the room, everything's been very neatly tidied up, but the concrete is scorched. This is potentially where the Frenchman blew himself up. Okay. Um, however, there is something more, and there is on the far side a conscript moving towards trying to use what looks like a sort of telephone type system. However, as focused as you are on obtaining this guy, there is no way you can deny what is in the middle of the room, which is a very large cage. And what is in the very large cage, much to Ollie's deep, deep delight, is a wolf that's about eight foot at the head. Oh, I want one. <laughs> no. You have a cult, don't you? An mm. eight-foot wolf. <laughs> Fenris. I'm, I'm also him. thinking you've probably just found a, kid, a kidnapped werewolf. <laughs> Letting this out would, would either go really, really badly for you or, or really, really, really well. well. <laughs> Depending on its mood. Yeah. I think Damn, really that's bad. a big wolf. Yeah. You're going to let it out, aren't you? Uh-huh. Ollie <laughs> is sitting down and wagging his tail. <laughs> Yes. Shit. Well, before I do anything about the wolf, the, you're shoot my, my my new pet. Um, <laughs> you will be lucky. I would. I would you love would be that. Very one. lucky. I am gonna shoot the guy that's trying to. Right, call, Dixon. Dixon guy. firearms. He is in a pack. Oh my god! What are you rolling today? Dice. <laughs> He's got like seven. Four. Four. Okay. Right, you hit him. <laughs> oh, four. You have, so you have <laughs> Only damage, four successes. damage rifle and you get an extra two because the guy did that badly. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. He doesn't have a head. <laughs> That's no. eight. Well, he hasn't got a head. Um. And the base, and this end of the base doesn't have an intercom. So yeah. He's yeah. hanging out. Yeah, that, 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 that watermelon. Yeah, but there is a scarlet Jackson Pollock on the wall. Yeah. And the bullet then went through it into the intercom, which is now hanging out of the wall and fizzing like this. <laughs> Can Good I shot up the stairs just as he does that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Followed by it, there's a giant wolf in the cage. Okay, can I roll a cult? <laughs> yeah. Oh, go on, let um, the wolf out. I want, to, I want you to let the wolf out. OC, I want you to let the wolf out. I see, I'd probably be rather more cautious about this, but OC, I want you to let the wolf out. And OC, I'm not there. And I'm so letting the wolf out. I'm just throwing this out there. Totally, you should let the wolf out. I'm rolling so bad tonight. Difficulty eight, this is faintly obscure. None. Right. That was eight lethal to the I guy's think, head. However, however there's only twenty you know, I'm pretty certain you know for your occult, werewolves do exist. <laughs> yep. However, you also know big spirits can take the shapes of big animals as well. Okay. Okay. And so it's one also, of the two things. This cage looks magical. It looks like there is stuff done to it. It's more yeah. technomancy than your stuff. There are dials, there are readouts, there are little screens, there are things. It's getting let out. Hang on, whoa, 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 hang on. And I'm right. also aware of the whole Odin, Thor, Loki, yeah. Fenris. Yeah, obviously, all that that's, that's kind of just... Fenris is not friend. That's a classical education. <laughs> Fenris is not always don't, friend. Don't, <laughs> don't he kill Thor? Mm, he does he a kills, Ragnarok. Yeah. Yeah. Kills, Odin. All, kills all kills um, Ron Ragnarok. doesn't know that. Kills kills I know that. Loki lets out Fenris yeah. and then he kills eats everything. everyone. But I think it's yeah. named that he kills a few of the gods. Kill, he specifically is the one that's going to kill Odin. Yeah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Which mostly I remember because... <laughs> and I'm Odin. A different role-playing <laughs> game in stop, which the stop, stop. Sam, right. other Sam had to... That is either a werewolf wake up a or a zombie powerful spirit. <laughs> Fenris Ollie's to like, kill the evil Odin. I, I think we should <laughs> let it out. <laughs> You're aware of the Norse myth... How does Ollie sagas? react when You're I say that? You're aware of the that? sagas. You know about the Ollie is on your side on this. <laughs> gonna... Ellie, Ollie wants to join the now. Can I use? Can I try and use like um, right. my for something to communicate? I think with if the you're thing. both approaching it, this would be a good time to. I, you have to roll this. Put up some sensory magic because yeah. there's a shed load of equipment here, yeah. and you will I'm be getting to, different to talk to it. Off it. I know. I say we shall. We shall. Yes, you can try and. Help you could try talking to it. It's only. <laughs> yeah. Can I try using magic to communicate with it? I'm not sure how that works. I'm, but in a moment, when I think they're about to do something. They're about to do I'm, something. I'm you two can stand there and just go, yeah. for a minute. Um, 
Ooh. Bang. <laughs> well, as you right, may okay, see the guy. Yeah. You're going, ah, uh, I'm going to I'm bang. So, again, it's sixes and it's opposed. I have Sweet. two. I oh, hit. He gets out the way of some of it, but you hit. With the big gun. With the big what, gun. We'll, we'll, fight, we'll fight for it. Uh, that doesn't become mine. <laughs> So, full no, success. Gun. <laughs> right. You. Oh. <laughs> so, what you do with the pistol? <laughs> but I need to draw all <laughs> successes on the pistol, too. That, that's an right. average. Draw. You should have four down finish. in the more than a pistol does. <laughs> four is good. Right. Four is really good. Four is substantial. No, yeah. this was with the, this was oh, with the, the rifle. rifle. Yeah, it's that's, average. That's pretty right. good. Yeah. But that's still a good chunk of hurt. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's a big average. <laughs> a good chunk of hurt. <laughs> Love it. You shoot him. Yep. Um, it goes. Pretty solidly into the sort of main body center, which is where you wish to hit him. Probably, he goes down, but you can see him trying to reach for something in his coat as he does so. Okay. Shoot again. I will shoot again as soon as I can. Cop- right. As soon as right. I can. Okay. Let's, see if he can get, let's see if he can get to anything faster, briefly, because he obviously still gets a go. Yes, obviously. You think he's heading towards a grenade? <laughs> So, shoot the grenade! <laughs> he's not put the pin yet. Oh, well, I'm going to try and shoot him. I know. And then I'm going to take oh, cover with the grenade. He pulls the pin. Yeah. Yeah. He goes through. He just goes. Try and shoot him before he pulls the pin. Forces. Yeah. Entropy. Yeah. Four successes to hit. Right. In a very sad moment for him, his arm falls open with an unleashed with an un a grenade that hasn't been set off in it. Awesome. I will. I will keep the grenade. You can hear two guns. Rifle shots. I remember you're in like this mining tunnel yeah, now. They're echoing they're... really loud. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, yes, no, time to run now. Run, 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 run. I'm run. running. <laughs> <laughs> this is me this running. Is me I don't, go only faster. <laughs> right, you uh, you can start seeing amber glow, a lamp, amber light uh, coming from around the wall. And then I'm right. going to go and have a look. When when the guy is on the floor has peacefully been <laughs> not very to one side. Yeah, okay. peacefully, yeah. Right, what there is I is the, the amber glow. Yes, I'm taking the grenade the away. The amber glow is emitting from a. <coughs> Sorry. To be honest, what looks like an enormous crystal square lump. I thought you were going to say crystal In the middle skull. of the floor. <laughs> crystal yeah. maze. Um, but actually, as you get near crystal it, you realise you it's cold. It's I mean, you haven't even ice. touched it. It's just cold I'm even also, being near it. I am keeping an eye out for one other thing. A necklace. Yes, that is true. <laughs> and what you can see is basically there is some form of technomancy, technomagically enhanced drill, and this thing is glinting. It's diamond tipped. Yeah. On the thing, drilling. It's got this enormous power supply. There's things. There's little gauges going I'm, up I'm and down. Pull there's the power supply out or whatever. You just pull it out of the thing. Yeah. You, <laughs> even, even you can manage that bit. <laughs> I'm just um, turning it off. Which is you get the impression of the persistent magical effect you felt, and the you suspect the frozen, frozen, really, really, really frozen thing. thing is probably the nope effect you felt. And if you look down into this, and this ice, if it is ice, is beautifully clear. It's like looking through really lovely engineered glass. And laying beneath it is a slab of amber of the size you have never even heard of in a museum or anything. Yep. This thing is probably. <coughs> A metre and a half long and probably mm. 70 centimetres wide. It's Blimey. gigantic. And it's covered in this very complex um, undulating <coughs> wave of this runic script. Awesome. I would very much like to get some time to read that. However, yeah. however, more important thing right. is getting to you it. You come around the corner and see the same thing. <laughs> oh, this is that. Yeah. goes to check in the body. Oh, it's the drill. That's the effect. Do I see two effects shut off? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the when the guy got conclusively shot the second time, his one went off. I assume this is the spiritual bit that they got. Yeah. All oh, right, so they've actually... <sighs> they've actually um, uh, unearthed it then. I, I well, think they only up to a point. Yeah. We've got to get through that. You've got about 20 centimetres of ice between you uh-huh. and the top of the... Um, this ice is so cold that even being in its presence it is cooling the tunnel mm-hmm. it is, it is yep. supernaturally mm-hmm. cold ice <sighs> well, well I'm going to go and put my hand on it because right. I'm an idiot <laughs> <laughs> uh, also <laughs> because uh, <laughs> why do you stick your tongue on it <laughs> also because <laughs> <you seem highly laughs> <cold, but laughs> it might be yeah. you have indeed <laughs> 
and I've got, you know, stamina four, so <laughs> Lick I it. might have my hand left. I might, might be able to pull my hand off. Lick yeah. it. But right. just no skin on your hand. <laughs> <laughs> so what temperature does it become lethal? Yeah. <laughs> well, I could make it. Lick it. Well, lucky you made it. So, well, it make much for him, the lethal aggro makes no difference. This, yeah. is, this is the of nice them. side of being a mage in the world of luxury. I don't need to carry this aggravator. Actually, I've got like way. three. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Anyway. Yeah. yeah, the distinction between lethal and aggravated is well, unless, of course, you're fighting magic. a werewolf. Well, I can't um, heal it with magic anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly. so, Fronte is aggravated, it matters because he can heal himself. That's true. It's the only time. The rest yeah. of us, it doesn't matter. <laughs> right. Your life. Um, so, put your hand yes. on the extremely cold block of yes. ice. It is extremely cold. <laughs> um, uh, it might well respond, but it's also cold. Yeah, there's probably a limit to how long my hand stays yes. there before I go, no. <laughs> but, as you do... <laughs> <laughs> you so it is a source of note. <laughs> almost as if you, when you put your hand on it, that you are melting the water underneath it fast enough that it's boiling. It looks okay. like the water is boiling off. Again, you're moderately concerned about your hand, but <laughs> it feels all right. Okay. Um, however, we shall leave you two both there. <laughs> as... You've got to strip off Let's... and jump on the thing. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to be looking up the machinery. Yes. Yeah. Drill. As um, you are opening up the casing of the drill uh-huh. and discover that amongst its sort of initial setup, you can see multiple amber beads, like, for instance, the necklace, stuck into the workings of the drill. So she'll leave you two there. Fine. However, on the one note, your hand is the things you're looking up. You see, and you are utterly convinced this is not just a weird reflection, another hand emerging from beneath to come up and meet against yours. And we shall leave you two there. You two in a room with a giant wolf. (laughs) (laughs) That is a hell of a grin. (laughs) Let's release it. Wait, wait. Let's talk. Hello. I'm going to 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 walk up slowly to it in a calming way. Hello. We're, We're not here to hurt you. Good. It says slowly. You've been in... It, you've so been trapped. When, when you say it yes. says slowly, is it actually speaking just so Jeremy can understand it? Or is, no, it's can speaking run, it's passable English. Speaking okay. English. It's not subtitles. No. Okay. Why... Uh, what were the Nazis doing with you? How have you come into you? contact with these people? Why have they got you here? These... Revolting creatures of the worm are draining my power for their own ends. It's a werewolf. It's a werewolf. Some sort of stuff or whatever. Get me out of here and I will end them. I like this guy. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Hang on. How do we not know that you're just going to kill us? I don't go up against a fucking werewolf. Have you killed my kin? Have you stolen my car? No. Then why would I kill you? I have a very long list of Um, people that did. I don't. Wait a minute, werewolves are real. Yes, we talked about this earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we met... That's cool! <laughs> Remember when we met the vampire? Remember when we met the vampire? Well, you all said it was a vampire. You're going to annoy me today. Yeah, don't... Oh, disgusting. But it... It's cool! It, it, it's, it's a big wolf, that's awesome! I'm just a bit worried about the significance of a large wolf with all of this Nordic Loki Odin thing going on. But it's on. a... Is symbolic. Do you want to kill Fener- Nazis? I'm Fenerus's heir. I'm not Fenerus. Do you want to kill Nazis? I'm, I'm just going to looking at it. Do you He's want to kill the Nazis? Best talker. <laughs> Does it respond to that? I don't think it knows. What Those you're doing the soldiers. Yes. Them, the ones in the uniforms. Yes, yes. Let's kill them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking over. I'm just walking up to whoa, the wall. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. It's in. No, no, no. I'm literally going to no. go, it's techno magic, it's techno magic, before you do that. <laughs> well, no, as he's doing that, I Are think you he's going to anyway? well, He's going to yeah. do it anyway, right. but I'm okay. trying to, like, There is a sound explode. of a bullet, oh, a bullet ricocheting, yeah. and we shall leave you there. He's going to hit me in the foot. <laughs> <laughs> the other foot. Let's yeah. let it out. <laughs> Someone just... Thor just did something stupid in the presence of o- in the presence of Venus. It's going to hit you in the eye. Um, yes, it's not no, hit fuck. In the eye. I'm not. No, no I'm not cool. quite that, that obvious. Cool. No, right. Uh, anyway, yeah. so we shall, I think, leave it there for tonight because it is ten o'clock. Believe it or not. Oh, okay. We shall leave it there for tonight. No, that's cool. <laughs>
<laughs> and see how much trouble everyone is in. I was going to say everyone other than Adam, but he's near Colin and therefore still in trouble. So... <laughs> well, why are we in trouble? <laughs> because you're near Colin. <laughs> 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 release a dog, release a dog, release a dog. Ollie is no, Ollie, call, Ollie is dog. Not dog. Call it a dog. Ollie is all over release the dog. Release the dog. He totally wants dog out. Why do you no, think he came why back and told you to come this way? Just, you'll enjoy having met the, the most talkative and eloquent get a Fenris in the world. <laughs> so far. <laughs> It wants to get out of a cage. Hey, I mean, <laughs> I'm just trying to talk. It's not just repeatedly battering itself it is, against the side of the cage. Sure. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's been doing that for like six weeks, and now it's like, okay, I will talk. We are we are playing mage, so I am taking a little bit of license with werewolf. So yes, yeah, there yeah. is slightly yes, more talking talky. Of, yes. Because if yes, if it, we just yeah let it have six actions around, and then it would be yeah, we'd all be dead. Cage, and then yeah. there's, there's a point. point well, there's a reason enough. why the cage wasn't broken. There is, is a reason why the cage break. isn't broken because it can't get out of it. Yeah, eventually, it which is probably also um, why shooting it is not going to work. Because I if tried to tell him. Hey, hey <laughs> don't look at me. I tried to tell him. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> they are so mad. Cool. Yeah. And to be fair, Jeremy, though he doesn't do technology and stuff, he, he is reasonably literate and numerate and understands things. Might be. He's come across locks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Science. Science. yeah, you might be able to work out how to <laughs> yeah. do it. Do I it. don't have technology. <laughs> no, but you have science and exactly. What's you a lock? understand about science and medicine and physics and things. Cool. So you may be able to get it yeah. open. Okay, yes. that dwarf wouldn't hurt yes. me. I'm from that Canada. That was uh, episode eleven. Yes, mm -hmm. and we are hopefully, as you probably guess, heading right towards the sort of crescendo bit of episode twelve. I think oh. we're gonna have to call that episode something like "A Good Chunk of Hurt." <laughs> <laughs> release the hounds! <laughs> release, or release the hounds! <laughs> because no, no, it's no, double no. E. The uh, next uh, one kind of uh, needs to be released release the hounds because hound. oh, yes. he hasn't That's actually released the hound yet. True. <laughs> I did approve of the use of the word "yet" because that is so. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It totally <laughs> could happen. Don't release the thing. I'm releasing the thing. <laughs> I don't think Do we should it. release the thing. Do it. <laughs> okay. My dog thinks it's a good idea. <laughs> oh, well, then definitely we should do it. Ollie thinks it's a fantastic idea. <laughs> and since Ollie he's the main character <laughs> in the party. Yeah, Ollie, is, Ollie the is the most trustworthy of all of you. So Ollie is all over this idea. He really is. This is brilliant. Why do you think he came back to get you? <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't the gunshots. <laughs> it's a giant wolf, mate. It's yeah. a giant wolf. Yeah. There's yeah. a big wolf over there. Come on, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. 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 I say he was he was he was beside himself with happiness. It wasn't somebody <laughs> shot at me. It I'm was. I've got up there's a giant wolf. I like the werewolf just looking at me like is this guy for real? It's asking what a werewolf. Is. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's elements of how how did I come to be? Well, in so this especially place. from a werewolf. Well, again, if you're going from a traditional werewolf perspective, he's walking around with basically a sort of spirit dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So the guy with the spirit dog doesn't know yeah, about werewolves. <laughs> yeah. Like the a hero. hero! But you know, his spirit dog likes him, so that, that yeah. cuts him some slack with the <laughs> with the ancient spiritual yeah. wolf. Well again, get friends and dogs, anyway. Anyway, right, so okay. character sheets, we shall call that it for tonight, and then hopefully we shall head towards episode twelve, which will hopefully be the conclusion unless we get really lost. Cool. Okay, well thank you for joining awesome. us yes. for episode eleven of Masters and Monsters. That was a lot of fun. Um please don't forget to check out our Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Please also go and check out our Discord and our Patreon. Everyone who helps us and supports us makes it a bit better for everybody else. <clears throat> go and check out the Red Bubble. We've got lovely mugs and uh, not very much notepads. Yeah, with character sheets on the front and all kinds of things on there. So just go on there and look up Garblag. Like throw pillows. <laughs> throw pillows. Because everyone needs a <laughs> throw pillow. Anyone throw pillow yet? Not yet. Oh, one day. They will. <laughs> I totally want to run like a, a modern day wealth game now, where like one of the elders of the set is that wealth. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> Who that really likes really... Canadian meat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Just, has, just, just like got a thing for Mounties. <laughs> really likes the <laughs> really likes the, the TV show. <laughs> 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 just he always go around his wherever he is his base and he's always watching an episode <laughs> Dee from Baker Dee from Baker's the best yeah. okay anyway Sorry. also go and check out our subscriber giveaway which there's a link for below um, at, the more subs we get the bigger the prize someone can win something really cool over a hundred dollars worth of stuff so go and check that out as well but um, other than that I think we'll say thank you and we'll see you in two weeks time for more Masters and Monsters bye bye, bye. bye.